Who's <laughs> working? Leonard, you okay? He's dozing off over there? No. How's, Wait. I, how's I crate him? It should feel different. Well, is it a good feeling? Is it like what you had that last time or no? Uh, not yet, no. Probably not yet. Oh, by the way, Dave Palumbo was talking about the benefits of special K, ketamine. Oh. Very good. Uh, even for depression and disorders, he says a lot of things you don't really, why do they take, don't prescribe that anymore. But he says it's the greatest thing. Ketamine is a tranquilizer for horses, is it not? It's yeah. a tranquilizer. Right. Yes. Special but K, they, they used to call it. Of I remember course. doing a line of that one night when I was drunk back when, oh, <laughs> late teenager. What didn't you do, I Brad? I don't remember shit. <laughs> what didn't you do? Kratom? No, no Kratom. I've tried Kratom. Yeah. But it didn't do anything for me. It tastes like shit. I'll try some of that that Pollard sent. Yeah. Maybe. You'll probably eat it all, though, or drink it all, or snort it all, whatever you're going to do with that powder. <laughs> <laughs> You look ripped, Leonard. Not next to Will. No, I mean ripped high. I don't know, just a weird feeling. Is the 45 minute mark so Kimbo can make his introduction? <laughs> Why? You, do you feel like your heart rate's going up? No, nah, not at all. Okay, Kimbo going to be safe around you? Yeah. Am I going to be safer on Kimbo if he decides to scratch my eyeballs out? If he really wanted to, he could really do some damage. No, like, actually, he can't. No claws? His, his, well, he wasn't declawed. His previous owner did something what's called a tendinectomy. It's where uh, he, it's not de He has his claws, but something that I guess is considered a slightly less barbaric than declawing is the vet snips the tendon that connects to the cat's claws so the cat has no control over the claws they just sort of exist can't retract them can't stick them out can't use them as weapons so so they just stay in they're just there they're not in or out they're just there <clears throat> basically he wouldn't survive if he was in the wild so he's got to be domestic cat poor cat well if he doesn't know any better <laughs> <laughs> well, Pollard, thanks for sending the crate, and we finally got it. And Leonard's about gooned out on it. You're gonna be? Are you gonna be not worth a shit for this, or what? Yeah, I'll be like uh, Kimba's claws. No, I'll be okay. All right, good. So, how'd you like talking to Doctor Huge? Very informative. Yeah, it was good. We call. I called them through uh, WhatsApp. They're like 12 hours ahead of time. Reception was great, came through. I was gonna try Skype, but I don't know. I've only done that shit once, so. He usually messages me through WhatsApp, so I use that. Came out pretty good. You'll see, I filmed it. It was in my car, so his, it, you know, went through the speakers of the car. So you'll be able to hear him clearly, oh, okay, but good. when I filmed him on the phone, it might not come out so great, who knows? Yeah, I had a, I had a work today, so I gave Brad the camera, and. Brad did something today that's never been done. In all the history of filming for the Delray Misfits, Brad used up an entire memory card today. So I have a <laughs> shitload of footage I have to go through and figure out what, what goes where, what's in, what's out. I need to I, learn how to do that so I can take the burden off you. I need to learn that stuff. Give you a lesson after the podcast if you want. I need a lesson on a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Well, you need to have a computer that can do all that shit. Tell me about it. If you're using something like Windows Movie Maker, which is what I use, it's the easiest thing to do. What exactly do it's, you do when it, you... You transfer the video files from the camera's memory card to the computer. You load up... Well, the first thing I do is I watch each clip. I decide what's going in the video, what's going out. <sighs> Then mm -hmm. anything that's not going into video, I'll either put in a separate folder or I'll just discard altogether. Then I open up Windows Movie Maker, which is a software, and um, just go to work. That's it. Make each video between 20 and 25 minutes. I don't know if it's a glitch with my version of Windows Movie Maker, but anything over 24 or 25 minutes, it will not render properly at all. Otherwise, I would do 40 or 50 minute long videos. So. Yeah, it's not hard. It's time consuming, but it's easy. Yeah. Because it takes very long for each video clip to transfer over into Windows Movie Maker. Then you have to watch all the clips. Yeah, and then you're sitting there. Before you know it, right. it's fucking two hours it, go Especially by. Yeah. if I didn't do the filming. Like when I film, I know exactly what's where, what I want in the video, what I don't. Brad filmed probably two and a half hours worth of footage today. I have Something no like idea. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what it's he filmed. Lot. I have to go through everything clip by clip. <laughs> before I can even consider piecing it together for a video. It's hard because when you want to stop, he just keeps talking or we're in the middle of something when it's time to stand and you just lose track of. Still want to do it, Lenny? Well, yeah, I like to learn. 
Hey, you got plenty of fucking time on your hands. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, why don't you work on cleaning your fucking house? You can't even I do will. that. And you're going to sit here and make YouTube videos? Before Christina's birthday. Which is when again? March 9th. When when uh, when is Kalora coming? March, March 9th. Ma no, March 9th. Yeah, March 9th. That's right. That's a Friday. Right. Confirmed. Andrew Kalora, the legend, is coming to Delray Beach the weekend of March 9th. Good. So we'll probably all go to... I hope Jay Master's in town. I already texted him and let him know. Yeah, I talked to him last night. He said he's going to try to be around. Right. I'm off that weekend, too. Good. Perfect. I'll be off Sunday, Monday. We should all go to Busybody, fill whatever we want. Yeah, because yeah. we can I put in a request at work, so I'll probably get it. So they don't have to pay me. So now they're tightening up so bad, they probably want me to take vacation. So when you take vacation, you don't get paid? I get paid vacation time, but okay. does it go against their budget? Gotcha. They cut some people down so bad, it's not even funny. Not me, though, because I bust ass. You run circles around all those fucks, but huh? You have to now. Yeah. Can't even waste a second on that job. Right. And rightfully so, I guess, because people have been abusing that job for years. And they can also hire somebody off the street for a lot cheaper than you, because you've been there for, what, the, 28 years? Yeah, and the classic, I don't want killed kill myself. Mm -hmm. I don't go in the freezer. I don't go out in the rain. I'm not, I don't kill myself for this job. No way. So guess what? Your hours are cut. So well, you got to handle it. You don't want to work. Go you. back to you know where. Yeah. Go back where you came from. Or as our president would call it, a shithole. Yeah, go back to your shithole. <laughs> 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 so as I want to address last week was Philadelphia Eagle defensive end Chris Long, who donates his salary to income equality and has fundraisers for building wells in East Africa. My hero. I mean, next to J.J. Watt. Doing it for the publicity. You're putting money and time into a sinking cause. He has ex-pro athletes climb Mount Kilimanjaro, which is, what, 5,000 feet high. You could fall off and die easily, but that's what he raises. My, imagine that, dying. So he sends all the proceeds to East Africa. I, ha I had a friend who used to be a part of the organization called Charity Water. Charity Colon Water. It's one of the most well-known well-building organizations worldwide. And he traveled to Kenya, Haiti, um, a few other countries. Cameroon. In He's had AK-47s put to his head. And the problem when you go to these countries and you build these state-of-the-art freshwater wells is as soon as they leave, he would tell me this, as soon as they would leave, okay, bye everyone, enjoy your brand new well, all the, the, the gangs and warlords would swoop in on the new well and they'd all fight over it and then they would somehow end up just destroying it and ruining it <laughs> so even when you're trying to do these things to raise the bar for these places it just it ends up falling flat on its face because they, they Did you hear that chris <laughs> well and they all need their photo ops over there and shit well, that's all know, that's really a about let's, stunt let's too. be honest well didn't they say well, i heard the other day that south africa is like out of fucking water now they're in a huge water shortage. Yeah, i read that too like the ration of three gallons or something I, I don't know exactly i don't want you know misquote anything god for fucking bed but you would know that's you, a lost I, cause I, south I, africans at work talking i recently went really. on the dark web so-called on my computer and i saw things on there indescribably foul i came to the dark web going on a with the ync and there was footage of congolese troops and their nice camouflage uniforms stripping young girls and women naked out in the woods hmm. urinating in their mouth 10 year old girls forcing them to swallow it smack them in the face jerking off all over the old lady's face and this is the shit that's going on now yeah and they're they're laughing and this is shit it. that's been going on probably since the beginning of time the only difference is now there are websites that show this shit. people are filming yeah and they're filming and it they're with laughing. their phones and they upload it now yeah. you can watch this shit this has been going on for thousands tying of years. guys hands behind their back and gouging their eyes out alive with a knife guy horrible gouging the eyeballs right out while they're still alive i cutting I, the guy's dick off while he's yeah. still alive I haven't been on that website, the YNC, in about two years. I well, Chris Long, you're funding this indirectly, and I know you're going to get this message. And then you have another, you're the one that likes to support the guys kneeling during the anthem, too, and you're talking about police brutality. Go down there for and live for a while. See what they do to you. They garbage your eyeballs out. Build them another, get them another well, jack off. <laughs> you're even worse than J.J. while you're the lowest form of life.
Oh. Well, the organization Charity Water, the one my friend worked for, is very much religious based. The the guy who started, I think his name is Scott, if I remember correctly. He's a born again, uh-huh. real, real religious, and um, and these are basically people who are trying to sort of get into heaven by. Well, they got a nice warm place in hell for the <laughs> enablers like him. And Chris, I heard your dad used to sleep with Rob Halburn of. Judas Priest. <laughs> How, Howie Long. Yeah. <laughs> you heard this from who? Rob Halpern himself said it. Who's your ideal man and lover? Without question, he said Howie Long. It was the first thing that came to his mind. <laughs> I, was, I saw him once in person at a restaurant. He's a big mother, big motherfucker. Sure. Big mofo. That came out recently about he is. fucking. Uh, what restaurant did you see him at? It was in New York oh. before I moved down to Florida. Something on 23rd Street. I can't remember the name. I know what you're going to say, Brad. I know. I, Richard Pryor correct. getting fucked in the ass or fucking guy. Who, who would it be? Marlon Brando, oh, the yeah, Godfather. That's it. Marlon, that's it. Marlon yeah. Brando, yeah. Probably, Marlon Brando is a true. well-known dick sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I remember they had some... It takes one to know one. Yeah, exactly. I remember he was at some black rights rally or whatever. And some guy had a sign out there, a protest, said... Marlon Brando is a creep. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. That's what a sign said, really. This guy was holding the sign, yeah. Fucking Hollywood, man. <clears throat> Holly weird for sure. You know this. Yeah, there's art pictures. You can see at a library with art Marlon Brando with a dick in his mouth. A man's dick, by the way. Not a, is there any other kind of dick? A girl's dick. <laughs> like Tony, you said, the Asians have such small penises that. What's the difference between that and a large clit? That's how he justifies it. I can see his point. Jay is... Well, yeah, I know. He just texted me, too. He wants to know when the podcast starts. I guess we should put up a little clip. Ask if you ever slept with Marlon Brando. (laughs) Jay Masters. No, it was funny what what Tony was saying. And I said that, you you know, you don't like those kind of lady boys. You like the ones with the 10-inch cock. Yeah. (laughs) He likes the real feminine ones. He said the ones there have... The cocks are so small, yeah. it's like a, a large clip. Yeah. But that one he showed me had the surgery. I said, what's the point? So Columbia, I'm certain, has the nice asses, and you know what I want. I could just imagine. I want, I told him I want to. What's all- wrong with it, a regular woman? What's wrong Nothing with- wrong with it. Oh. If you catch my drift under the influence of GHB, maybe some Kratom mixed in. That's what Dr. Hughes, anything goes, and we'll film it. What do you got there, Leonard? Kratom. <laughs> from Adam Pollard, I took some. How you feeling? Different. Yeah. I took a lot of things today, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend do your own research on it. I don't tell anyone to do anything. All right, leave your questions or comments below. Episode 14. No special guests, just the three of 15. us. 15. Dicks. Oh, 15. Yeah. All right, whatever. <laughs> See how easy it is to ship powder through the mail? Yeah. And no special, special guests like Pinworm Nate, if you know what I mean. Leather helmet, Nate. <laughs> leather helmet. Riding around in the school bus in Vegas with the leather helmets <laughs> and the slanty eyes. Oh, it's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What are we talking about? Wait. What are we talking about? How many times that pinworm that said that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Uh, you hear that name? <laughs> <laughs> so, maniacs. I'm just picturing a young Nate with a fucking helmet on. <laughs> What are you like what? a little uh, little spinny thing a on the top? A little propeller on top? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were just about to ask a question. Uh, yeah. Uh. Oh, boy. Pollard, you see what this has done to his fucking brain? Jesus Christ. What were you going to say? So, <laughs> Dr. Tony Hughes mentioned he actually used the word feminazis talking about the women in this country what did he call that they when they have one up on you what does he call that he says i forgot the way the system is in in this country with no rights for men there's no leverage yeah he goes over there you have every woman in that wanting to please a man you know he said basically you go 
get this, this, and that done. There's no leverage if you relinquish your leverage. Mm -hmm. You have leverage until you relinquish it. Yeah, and we... In my opinion, one of the worst ways a man can relinquish leverage is by getting married. That's one of the worst I ways you can relinquish you. your leverage. I agree 100%. It never, it never benefits the man. I agree 100%. Unless, unless, you're marry, unless you're marrying a fucking wealthy woman and you don't have shit. Even so, you're going to live life like a little dog just for the wealth? Some do. Yeah. Many, many women do it. What do you think? They're women. Yeah. Well, he was saying over there, the women know their place. Yeah. To please the man. And they're happy. To there's do not going to be. And a, they're happy to do it. Exactly. Right. There's, there's a difference. There's not going to be a my too movement over in Thailand. Uh, me too. Me I'm too. sorry. <laughs> my too. <laughs> Just had my first Nate moment of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> me yeah. too movement. Excuse me. Yeah, I've, I've had a long day of work today, everyone. Exactly. No, no, right. Wait. I'm what are a, we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, they, you know, yeah. well, they don't have, they don't have all this bullshit pumped up their ass with these fucking twats on TV that, oh, it's, it's, I can't wait to get home and have a Xanax and a glass of wine. That's what all these fucking Go see bitches, my therapist. All, yeah, exactly. All these fucking house cunt shows, shit, and fucking mindless entertainment. <sighs> and women think that's fucking reality when it's uh. not. It's a joke. A goddamn scripted joke. Fucking... <laughs> Morons. Andrew, I've got questions for you guys. What's your solution to the Nick Cruz incident? There is no solution. There is no solution. To say that. What's the solution? You, you, What's done is done. Prevention. Any, not only that, but how do you? There's no way to prevent that shit when you don't ha when you have assault rifles that are easily obtainable. But you could be like Timothy McVeigh and use fertilizer and blow the whole building up. All the gun control laws in the world will not mitigate it the, the guns are already out there in circulation and the only thing gun control laws will do is keep guns out of the hands of law-abiding citizens and the scumbags and criminals will always find a way to get them who if any always. of those people had them students or teachers he, he may not have done so much damage they had a plea they had the, the they followed proper protocol at that school for safety and shy. They had police officers. The protocol is not case. effective. No, it's not. Well, cool. they, because you never know it, when this shit's going to happen. It would, it would also help if the FBI followed up on the fucking tips and leads they received, and received on his kid. Well, it's typical maybe, government, man. They're fucking well, reactive hey, instead of proactive. You heard what Donald no, Trump said. Proactive. Maybe if the FBI wasn't so busy chasing its tail about this ridiculous collusion in <laughs> Russia bullshit, <laughs> yeah. they may have had the personnel and manpower to follow up on that goddamn lead yep. I, I agree with him with that he's a hundred percent correct when he said that but no there is no way to stop that from happening it's gonna there, keep there, happening there, too it's never gonna but end. i'm looking at the fact where you even it doesn't even, you don't, even most, need a, you don't even need a gun now for you those can, couple listen, days when we were in vegas there's part of the strip that's cars are zinging right fucking by you mm -hmm. they, any car if they want could just not turn the wheel and mow down fucking 20 kill 20 people like that with a car sure you know and it's been done Right. But we're talking about inside a school with children. You know, what can I heard, heard on the radio, he was supposed to inherit $800,000 on his 22nd when, birthday. When he turned 22, that's right. And he could care less. Now, he may spend 70 years behind bars. Theoretically, it's possible. What they should do is on pay-per-view TV, he should be executed. Yes. And all the, the, the money that they earn through the pay-per-view goes to the families of the victims. That's there what they should fucking do. Plus his eight hundred grand that he was supposed yeah, to get. Yeah, exactly. Well, the lawyers will eat that up. Oh, of course. But what I'm saying is, to prevent that future, you have to strip somebody of their rights. When you get such a heinous act, I would have him tortured, filmed, put on the internet for anyone to see... So then that kid that's thinking about doing that, this is what's going to happen to me. No, they'd rather, the media would they, rather sensationalize this, can make him fucking famous, and then the which next... Which is what they did, he knows These copycat assholes are come out and do the same shit. Did those cops even slam him on that car? No, they put, yeah. were very gentle with him. They should have blew his well, fucking He's going to be, like, like you said that. earlier, corrective custody, living it up, he'll be able to jerk off, he's going to get hot therapists coming to interview him on a daily basis <laughs> news crews they're going to be hot. this case is they very, will. this case is very unique because normally when these things happen the perpetrator ends up blowing his own head off this time we actually have him in custody behind bars so does he get life do we go for the death penalty usually you don't end up getting these these wackos in custody who commit these 
kind of crimes. It's an interesting situation. What I found even more shocking was Alex Jones on Infowars saying it could be 90% fic, uh, staged. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake. On. That's what he yeah, said. Yeah. And who is he? He's like another Ooh. Rush Limbaugh, another exactly. fucking yeah. Yeah. Over, overpaid fucking... An asshole with a microphone, just, yeah. like us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's made his living off of being controversial. and. Conspiracy. I take offense to Andrew. I'm a dick with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be an asshole? You'd rather be the dick, huh? Yeah. That's right. You're a t top, not a bottom. <laughs> For certain people, I'll do anything. I'll be anything. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> that school is what? 25 minutes from here? Parkland? From Delray? Not far at all. Supposedly a top of the line safe school. Parkland's a well, beautiful there. area. There's very, a lot of money. Parkland, Parkland is very affluent. Oh, yeah. To happen there? That's... Yeah, actually, my brother. I, actually, you guys control him if you want. Edward Person. He's Why a, would you tell he's a music to director. fucking troll him, Leonard? You want people to troll your brother? Yeah. Here comes Kimbo. There he goes. He did two of the masses at the St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's Church. He's a music director for two of the young girls. So yeah. you control him. For Why do you I want care. these people to troll? Him? You're Good. such a. That's so giving a case of his own medicine. <laughs> you're, still, you're still a fucking bully, huh? You still bully your brother around? Well, he deserves it. Why? For all that money he's making. What the? Fuck? And no kids. <laughs> He's such a... You're a jealous fuck. Nah. He's younger, right? Yeah. He used to beat him up when he was little? Uh, not really. We used to make fun of him because he didn't play sports. My father did too, a little bit. Oh, yeah? Functional household. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a story. And look who... Look, look Here's how a story. And, and, he Lenny. and he turned out more successful than anybody in the family. Go fucking figure. If I can make a spin on that, here's the story of Cookie Cutter Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're mad. I'm hitting a nerve, huh? What's the matter, Leonard? You jealous of your baby brother fucking making more money than you? Being more successful? I'm jealous because I'm not getting a baby bird, if you know what I mean, but I will be soon. Who do you want a baby we met bird a, We met a candidate. We're going to work on her at, at the gym. Very nice looking competitor. Told her I want baby birded for a video. This so. fucking guy has no. He does not give a shit. We're walking. We're doing out, it. And, and she, hey Kim. He was staring right at her. He's like, hey, want to get a picture before we leave? And she, <laughs> she. And she's like, yeah, sure. I'm she exploded off that curry <laughs> machine and put her arm around me. I felt that arm around my hip, the hands. She's like, I saw you at my first show. Yeah. What? It's a ruby she competed in. I didn't recognize her at all. That might have been the one where I didn't have my posing trunks on. It was time to go on stage for the pre-judging. <sighs> and I dropped trial in front of 12 bikini girls uh -huh. standing against the wall ready to go on who were on next after the bodybuilders. I think she would remember you for other reasons than that. But that definitely hey, I remember her. Shows. She remembers me. Huh? When the eyes darted downward like an elevator, similar to how your eyes did when you answered the door and I was naked one day when okay, I answered the door. <laughs> he broke the horizon line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Somebody wrote United States Prick Service. <laughs> so <the> United States <laughs> Postal <laughs> Prick Service. <laughs> if I was UPS, I'd use, use you in ad, as an ad. Dressed up like Captain America with a postal insignia on the shield in the front saying, Captain Cookie Cutter. Say, so who are you going to trust? UPS or Captain Cookie Cutter? Brad smoking a joint in the mail truck. <laughs> throwing the mail out like the post. The newspaper boys used to throw up newspapers. Ash. Captain Cookie Cutter, the mail prick. There you go. They, they did that. I showed you the picture that they did, you asshole. Well, you, want to make, you want them to make a cartoon of that? I think it'd be a good advertisement for like UPS. Oh, yeah, that would be perfect. Captain Cookie Cutter. Yeah. How about the. Did you see that video of the Amazon guy taking a shit in somebody's uh, driveway? No. It was in. Because Amazon's starting to deliver their own shit in certain areas of the country. So he did it literally. The guy took a shit in somebody's driveway, the Amazon driver. Why? I don't know. Well, Maybe ask, he was ask, like ask me Leonard to take why. A shit. He almost shit in my car. And who today. captured it? How did that know. end up on film? I don't know. Probably the house. Yeah, I think the, the security on system on the house. Yeah, yeah. Lenny was prairie dogging like f for like five miles. Before we, got <laughs> we were talking to, to Mario from Chicago. He wants to call in. By the way, we'll break his nuts for a minute. This is ask Lenny about why he doesn't get back together with Milan. Fuck is Milan? Who's Milan? Milana Tan. Oh. 
Well, I'm going through another supplier, but I usually don't do that till pre-contest. No, they just said, it, it says Milan. Did you have a girlfriend named Milan or something? A boyfriend? <laughs> Never mind. Well, Christina had a show called A La Milanese. It was a show about Milan, Italy. Huh. I never got to see it yet. It was on the Latin television network of Canada. For King Lenny, what is the ultimate gear stack for retaining muscle hardness while losing fat? Easy. Test propionate every other day, 100 milligrams. 100 milligrams trinacetate every other day, 100 milligrams master on every other day. That'll do the trick. Make you hard as a rock. And you'll lose your hair. So what? <laughs> Who needs why, it? Why do you always lose it in the places you don't want to lose it? <laughs> because you, you have to think you want to want to lose it there. Just like I like to gain muscle around the midsection. Let the cookie cutters worry about the wasp wastes. The what? The wasp waste? The wasp wastes. All right, maniacs, no Christina. Will somebody please get in touch with her? Find out her whereabouts. Hey, the bedroom bully chimed in. How much for the purple ape to stick your finger in my ass while I shoot a load in his face and his ear? Jay projecting his homoerotic fantasies uh, onto yeah. the podcast. <laughs> what? You got to answer that one? I remember when Jay, I was at the gym, he shouted out loud for everyone. You look like a giant purple cock. <laughs> <laughs> remember that episode? Uh. <laughs> the fucking gym today, man. It, it got it got packed around two thirty with cookie cutters. Yeah, like I told Lenny the fucking druggy buggy dropped off. <laughs> all those motherfuckers. Druggy buggy. All those motherfuckers. It's nice and slow when I was there. Yeah, you could see. I mean, no Carla Dunlap. No, still haven't seen her. Shit. Not one single time since I talked to her that day. Shit. She probably ran for the hills. Myron Ryan, where are? We're at episode 14 and still not getting these on YouTube. You're not going to, stupid. This is a because podcast. It's a podcast, right. The guy that put our shit on YouTube, we think we talked about this in the live feed. D you did. I, I watched it. He got... the. His channel got fucking deleted by YouTube because of the and, content and that's on this podcast. We what didn't mind that up. That someone was taking all of our podcasts and uploading them, the whole audio. I I didn't give a shit. Yeah, the guy asked permission from you. As long, didn't he? Didn't he reach out? And no, he money? he didn't reach out, but he I think he put in a description if the Delray Misfits mind me doing this, send me a message and I'll take them down. And I, I didn't give a shit. Who cares? Sure. But his channel ended up getting deleted because of the content. So if we were to put this on YouTube, then this channel will get fucking deleted. Well, I thought about creating a new YouTube channel and doing these live, you know, YouTube live, and then just saving them. It's, it's, it's an option. All right. That's so not we'll a bad see. idea. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah. Yes, I'm just taking testosterone. No other freaky stuff right now. I have a good topic idea. Brad, we talked about this in the gym last week. Uh, it's something to talk about. First, let's congratulate our boy, the Fit Barber, for getting... <laughs> <laughs> A lot of our viewers probably, well, they might follow him on Instagram. The Fit Barber, it's PJ Braun's personal barber. He's, he's in great shape. He works out with us in the mornings at LA Fitness. And he also has a salon barber shop with his wife. Correct. He's, he's a good guy. And PJ gave him a sponsorship. He is now a quote-unquote sponsored athlete with Blackstone Labs. I should say he was a good guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the question that Brad and I were talking about in the gym the other day is what qualifies a person to be an athlete? If you are sponsored by a supplement company solely based on your physique, not by any kind of specific athletic performance on a field or on a track or whatever, are you an athlete? Just based on your physique or based on the fact that you do PEDs and have a great physique, does that make you, you know, 5% nutrition or 5% athletes? Are they really athletes? What do you think? What's the definition of an athlete? Because you can say John Daly was an athlete. He was a fat slob, but he was a great golfer. You can Golf say- is an, an athletic endeavor in my opinion. It's a, it's a- An athlete is, I would definitely consider somebody that goes to the gym and trains an athlete because you're working yourself to where you're sweating, you're not in a normal state of mind. And you see, athletics were developed for two reasons, to make you a better warrior and a better worker or farmer. And anything that taxes your muscles and your brain at the same time, your heart and lungs, every facet of your body, mental toughness, discipline, and the preparation for it, I consider that qualifying as an athlete. Now, golf, are you ever winded to the point of your, you know, just totally sucking wind and out of breath? Never. You know, with the exception of wimps like Tiger Woods, 
You ever get serious injuries from playing golf? I should hope not. All he attributes his back problems to swinging a golf club is a mystery to me. Have you ever swung a golf club? Yes, I have. I've putt. I've never swung a driver like. You'll know how you Victor. how your body feels the next day if you if you go out and hit. Even if you just go out and hit a hundred balls, fifty balls, you will feel soreness in parts of your body that you wouldn't. Again, think you if would we go be. back to the whole philosophy of being a cookie cutter, why would you want to do that? What function in life does that have? Golf is fun. It's a game. Fun. Here we go. Fun. <laughs> it may not be fun to you, Leonard, but to a lot of people, it is. You know, it's fun to me. You know, let's getting pinned it. by a big black tan there sitting there on my go. face See? and farting in my face every so often. I think most people would rather That's golf. Fun. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't. She can shoot a golf ball out of her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> or suck a golf ball through a garden hose, right? Yeah. I'm sure I could do that. So there you go. Leonard thinks he's an athlete. He thinks if you're a sponsored athlete, if you just go to the gym and work out, you're an athlete. Go right? to the gym, work out, take selfies, post them. Take some G4P selfies in the mirror. And you're an athlete. Actually, this going back to... My laws of specificity. You ha people have to be specific in life, in every facet of life, and they're not. Someone comes at you work, you're doing a great job. What the hell does that mean? I mean you should tell somebody exactly what they're doing right, exactly what they're doing wrong. No, great job. Someone tells me, I feel like saying, F you. I take that as an insult. Good job. Father never said one damn thing to me. He'd say on certain plays, he goes, you should have done this, you should have... There's always room for improvement, basically, is what you're saying. Well, that's still a generalized term. Be specific. Spot on specificity. Don't just say, I'm going to get big, I'm going to go to the gym and lift weights. Be specific. What are you going to work on? How did you do more each workout for your body to adapt? Did you do more weights? Did you do more reps? Which to primarily is like, go back to ancient Milo from Greece who lifted a baby calf when it was born and lifted that calf every day as a calf obviously grew into a bull. And by the time he was lifting this bull every day, Milo was that much bigger. What the fuck are you talking about, Leonard? Is this one of your another fucking fairy tales from that stupid? No, book? it's it's just this progressive resistance. A guy picked up his little He's calf. Not, no guy when he was born. Up a fucking bull. The okay. calf was yes, he did when it was bullshit. Is that a Freudian pun? Yeah, bull bullshit. You, he picked it up every day until it got big. And he, okay. when he picked it up, he was that much bigger. Mm -hmm. Now, it's hard to do that. But that's, to me, people say you change your order, you change your angles. No, when you're doing more weight for more reps, as me and Andrew Kalora's goal was every each and every workout, you're going to put on the muscle. And that's what we basically did, by the way, especially him, for about two or three, two to four years straight. How about Cornelius tearing a pec? Horrible. Yeah, but hard. like I said, I wouldn't be mind he, being in that he, position. He didn't even want to watch it until I told him that his wife was spotting him. And then then I saw him. <laughs> his head was between her crotch. Lenny, I said, would, "Man, I'd like to be in that scenario." Would you sit on the bench? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Huh. <laughs> the impressive. He wasn't such a cookie cutter with the tats and beard. That's the fit, and the ball cap. The fit barber. The fit cookie cutter. <laughs> <laughs> would you be on the bench press? And wrist and tear a peck to have his wife her crotch over your face. Yeah, and feel the pain <laughs> of that peck tear. Those nice black tights. Any girl that wears black tights, you're asking for. Especially for me, you got a nice. We had a waitress with nice fucking ass and them black tights. I always used to say that. When tonight? She, yeah. yeah. Where'd we you guys go? To Sicilian oven. Any girl that's she thick. Had a, she had a butter head, but she even if she doesn't have a perfect body, you guys take a tight pair of pantyhose, two size too small, whatever and put them on a real slow and pull them up and it makes everything look nice. And I take my finger and cut holes in it for the two holes <laughs> or one big hole so you get the big three. Oh, you suck one, the other, then the last one. And then you repeat the process. And you repeat the process. I certainly did. <laughs> did you see how big Rob Fitness got trolled? <laughs> no. Good. From what? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody or I guess a bunch of trolls told Big Rob Fitness that Cali Muscle made a video about him, but deleted it. So Big Rob Fitness, oh, buying the bullshit, made a, about a three minute long video going in on Cali Muscle. No it's on shit. YouTube. Oh, when Cali Muscle never that. even made a video about him. It's fucking crazy. Good, taste your own medicine there, Chuck. <laughs> And you're ducking me. When are you going to get on stage with me? When are you going to get in the football field with me? When are you going to get in the octagon with me, Chuck? That's what they want to see. You want hits? 
Get off the video games. Let's get on the field. Oh, he's going to make money playing, pretending like he's playing video games. You think he, <laughs> wants, make, to, he, oh, you make, think he wants to come and wrestle with you? Please. No, because he, he doesn't like... He uses fake weights, too. Think so? I know so. How do you know so? I know he's using fake weights. I don't watch enough of this shit. I mean, I saw him lifting up fucking boulders at a playground. What did he do? He's a jerk off. And then making some kind of... Somebody... I don't know why... Somebody tagged me in one of his fucking cooking videos or some shit or sent me a link to it where he's cooking ramen with ketchup or some ghetto ass shit. Oh, man. Why would you want to watch that? That's very nutritious, Chuck. <laughs> it's no fucking sense. So Big Rob fell for that, huh? He, has, he, had no, he has no Hook, idea line, and what sinker. he's gotten himself into. No. Well, I, I think he's enjoying it. I, this is a means to an end to build up a channel and a subscriber base and... As long as he doesn't mind swimming, swimming in the piss, yeah, game on. <laughs> He's already neck deep in it, so Did he may, he may as well have this? fun. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Chuck Bash would give him, give him a taste of his own medicine. Cry, a sensitive cry, baby. Get over it. You need some grief counseling, Chuck. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus. You know, if you're on this shit, you gotta be able to. to Your girlfriend, you can dish it Chuck. Out, you gotta be able to take it a little. Absolutely. I mean, who gives a fuck? Why do you? Your you can't girlfriend. Take shit personally, you know. Just picture your girlfriend sitting on my lap, facing me, while I'm sitting on a toilet, and we're both taking a dump together and French kissing. What do you think about that, Chuck? French kissing. <laughs> I don't think I've heard that term since high school. <laughs> French kissing. A cookie cutter term. French kissing. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Somebody asked, what do you think of the uh, Black Panther movie? Uh, uh, Tony Hughes just saw it. He walked out of the theater. Hopefully there's some hot tans in it, but it may have some black power overtones. And I actually watched a documentary on the real Black Panthers on public broadcasting last night. It was very, very educational. They really backed down, too, when those cops brought out the hardware and came after them shooting them because those cocksuckers went on the <laughs> capitol building and they're standing there with, with shotguns say claiming they had a legal right to display arms in a public place and they're standing there in the middle of the street like 50 of them but it was very simple the cops went on a seek and destroy mission went in their homes at two three in the morning and gunned the most of them down no shit. and they gave up they quit and there's 20 of them still in prison and that Elroy Cleaver, he's a real winner, too, saying he kicked Ronald Reagan's ass. He goes, you could take a, he challenged Ronald Reagan, who was the governor. He goes, Ron, you could take a knife, a gun, or a marshmallow, and we'll fight. And he goes, I'll beat you to death with a marshmallow. Big tough guy. Who's then he had to leave the country and go kiss the ragheads asses in Algeria. <laughs> big, big tough guy, huh? With those cookie cutter whites in attendance to his little shit lectures and his books, a book signing. He's lucky I didn't come across his book signing. I'd take a dump in that book right in front of his face and smash him with it. El Elroy. Elroy. Yeah, Black Power, really. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with the movie Black Panther, but I just wanted to know. I don't know. I mean, I like all the comic books. I collect the comics. From I did time. too, but give it up at a certain age. Yeah, of course, but the movies are cool. They make the, the special effects they have. Cool, define cool. Fun, Brad. You're a real cookie fun, cutter fun, today. Fun to watch, Leonard. Cool. You know what it means. Quit acting like a fucking dope. I'm not going to lower my standards and use this cookie cutter terminology over my dead body, Brad. I've heard you say cool many times, asshole. Never did. Bullshit. I've heard you say it. Never. I've never heard Lenny say it. I never. So. Say cool. I don't think so. All right, I'll, I'll, don't worry. I'll make sure I point it out the next time you do. It's like me asking people. So what? Are you okay, <laughs> Andrew? How are your days off? I hate when I get asked that. Fuck you. How are you doing? You come into a gym. How are you doing? Fuck. I used to hate that. People did it more every time I dieted. How are you doing? You're looking like shit. Don't ever say that in a gym. How are you doing? Ever. What, what do you want them to say to you, Leonard? He said, tell me, fuck you. So I get some motivation going in here. <laughs> Come in and challenge me to a fight. Wow, you look like shit today, Leonard. That's what you want to hear, right? It's yeah, you're a fat piece of shit. 
So when I go over to that bar, give me some incentive. It's called constructive criticism. Most people right. can't handle that now. Everybody's oversensitive now. Absolutely. You can't, say, you can't say shit. Oh, no. oh, it's fat shaming. Don't call them fat. That's fat. They're fucking fat. Okay? <laughs> Fuck you. Lose some fucking weight. You're a fat, disgusting right. pig. If nobody says anything, then they'll think they can walk around. And and what's up with okay some of these girls animal. with these ugly teeth? You had two decent girls with ugly teeth. Get a toothbrush in that mouth, bitch. <laughs> or Invisalign or braces or My something. My God. Jesus. Yeah, that's very unbecoming. You talking about anyone specifically or just in general? Uh, no. Leonard was trying to talk to every chick he could at the gym today. And I made up pretty damn well, thank you. Yeah, you did. You didn't get slapped. You didn't, you didn't see the Nobody older chick, I, the older girl. Spanish girl that I winked at, too. No, I didn't. All I have to do is do the stare. And this is the deal breaker, the deal sealer. That's the panty dropper, the teeth? Yeah, I got it. Oh. And they're shocked. Well, I was talking about that with him this morning. They, they think that, you know, seeing his teeth, they think he has some kind of good hygiene or whatever. But then when they go to his house, they... They never come back. <laughs> Thank you. 65-year-old Bahamian I'm girl. I'm surprised you, they even you, walk in. Your teeth are your Trojan horse, basically. Right. Uh, that's fucking great. Fucking, I'm glad I took your advice. That cunt didn't get a rose, Good. candy, or Good anything. for you. I took Perfect. It. Did she call you? She didn't get nothing. Nope. She nothing for her birthday. Nothing for Christmas. Good. Nothing for Valentine's Day. Well done. Well played. Because she's given me nothing. She hasn't dropped trowel in quite a long time. Yeah, well, if you're not getting any pussy, what the Absolutely. fuck? Well played. Well, plenty pussy or dick. That's yeah, funny. true. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta learn to use both. You have more fun that way. Like Tony Hughes said, he's. it was such a fantastic interview. I was shocked. He laid it all on the line during his little walk. He said, you, he goes, Lenny, you got to get out and see the things you're missing, the different points of view that he had. Have you ever been out of the country? Never. That's you need, yes, to, you yeah. need to do that. Exactly. Just yeah. what you guys yeah. told me, the infrastructure. Well, I think we're lied to. This is the greatest country in the world. Everybody comes here. That's a myth. You need to get your passport, and then the world is your oyster. Exactly. Go anywhere you want. Although, you know how many people that, that live in different countries would, would probably pay for you to go visit them? Not that hellhole of Africa. After seeing some you of You ever those, want to go to Egypt? See the pyramids and shit? The what? The pyramids. What are they? Oh, for fuck's sake. The fuck? Never I mind. want to see a Never fucking mind. pyramid for. Never mind. <laughs> you have no interest in ever seeing that shit? I'm with Lenny on that one. No, you don't either? Zero. Fuck, really? I'll, well, I'll see pictures of them. What does it do? Can you live in it? No. I, I wouldn't mind seeing the Taj Mahal in India. And Christine was on an episode where she said, I remember it to this day. She was looking up in the air in the Mystery Hunters headquarters and said in the office and says, boy, someday I wish a man would give me the, something like the Taj Mahal, like the Indian prince gave this princess. He cared enough. Or no, I hope a man cares enough for me to get me something like that. Well, Christine, I believe me, I will. And it may not be material yeah, things, whatever. But I could give you my heart where, and soul where's if you've the, given me yours. Where's the country that you would, top of your list that you'd want to go to if first? You wave a magic wand. If go you go place, anywhere you want. Where would you go? Where would it be? That's a very good question. Uh, one country, one single country, probably... It's so funny hearing Lenny scratch his beard with the headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> goes right into my eardrums. That's a good question. Probably, I hate, I'm old fashioned. England, I, I'd like to see the Big Ben. I'd like to see 600 year old buildings. Why would you want to see Big Ben? <laughs> because that's technology. That's, I kind of liked uh, okay. some of the movies. I, I kind of like the, the British in some way. I'm a big fan of Dave Crossland. London's a fun city. I was there for a week when I was 22. Wow. Loved it. What was your lasting memory of it? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember much from that two-month trip. <laughs> uh -oh, so I spent two months traveling all around Europe. Everywhere I went as far east as Budapest, Hungary, and uh, all the way back to Barcelona, Spain, then back to Paris and flew home. This is when, just when I graduated college. That's nice. Fun trip. Just took the train from city to city to city. Euro wow. pass. And we had friends who You saw the Brandenburg Berlin. Gate in Germany? No. I did a stopover in Germany for three hours waiting for a train, but that was it. Right in Nuremberg. How about you, Brad? What? What was your favorite country you went to? Oh, I like Spain. Better than Amsterdam? Prague was great. Prague's a fun yeah, I city. Wanted, I definitely want to oh, go there. Oh, you got to go to Prague. Yeah. I remember Christina was in Prague for Mystery Hunters, and they had 
where they call them goblins on this one building. It's fascinating. I liked Amsterdam. It's just I don't like the weather. You know, Spain was beautiful, dry, sunny, no, warm. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was fucking great. It was really nice. But I don't know. Well. As you I maniacs may or may not know, there's so many other places we got to. We were invited by Tony Hughes, Tony Hughes to come to Medellin, Colombia in three months. And we're definitely going to go. We're going to make some awesome men's there. <laughs> Anything goes. And he told me, I'll go there in a minute. Women, GHB, gems, food. And a, I wouldn't mind bring back a possible wife, too. <laughs> Just, <kid>. like <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Hey, you never know. You might find one over there. That's a very interesting, interesting well, well, man. The best thing to do when you go on a trip like that, whatever you do down there, leave down there. If you have a great time, plan another trip. Leave the fantasy in fantasy land. Don't try to bring it to the to Florida or back home right. thinking it will translate into the kind of fun. I You'll just end up miserable. But I want to give get some good meds for the fans. That's like when I went to Costa Rica. You get these Captain Sabahos who go down there and oh, they want God. to bring themselves back a Tika, you know, to rescue her from her miserable poverty-ridden life in Costa Rica. And then he ends up completely screwed over. Yeah, don't do what it. you mean just leave the fantasy down there come home wait a year go again i know another guy that did that that was in costa rica and he he brought a girl back from she was from nicaragua mm -hmm. brought her back right after they were married for two years she fucking left his ass yep went with another guy right. here and you know she was fucking this guy on the side and then whatever after the two years was up she got her citizenship L and now she's with she got pregnant by another guy latina woman know how to use their sexuality. They're taught how to use it from a very young age to wrap men around their fingers, particularly naive gringos who go down to these countries, you know, for sexual escapades or whatever. And they'll use them, they'll abuse them, they'll bleed you white and just not worth it. Just I hear you. <laughs> go down there, have your fun, I come home you. and that's it. I hear you. But we'll be, we'll be filming and anything goes. So you guys in for some real treats. <laughs> hey, it's great for us. It's only a fucking two-hour flight. Yeah, it's nothing. I'd love to go to Colombia. I gotta, I gotta renew my passport. It's expired this year. So you go to the courthouse. I'll probably go tomorrow. Get see what I can do. Yeah, it only cost fucking. It, well, I don't know how. I much think it, it's like eighty bucks or some shit. And it lasts for ten years. Yeah. it's good for ten years. They have the paperwork, if I'm not mistaken, at Walgreens, and you can take your picture there. Or they take and, yeah they give they take a picture of you right. there at Walgreens. Yeah, you got to get better. the picture first, and then you can go I'll to the go courthouse. Around the corner. Just, Thanks. Yeah, you got to go in there and tell the in the photo department tell them to take a picture of you. They'll they'll know yeah. exactly what it's for. Say, I need a passport photo. You get it. You bring it to the courthouse. Do it now too, because if you wait until summertime, that's when everyone travels and is trying to renew. It'll take a lot longer to get it. Yeah. Yeah, this kratom's feeling really good, Mr. Pollard. That's a. Excellent. We totally changed the subject. A, a walking <laughs> advertisement for Adam's Kratom. The last time you did this was the night of the ruby, right? Right. I remember. With ecstasy. So. <laughs> <laughs> the whole car ride it to Obaccio. Lenny's like, I feel great. It, I feel great. Yeah, it activated no, it. I think this is activating the euphoria, although I think the Fenibut's probably better to train on. But You, you think you get trained with, on the Kratom? Yeah, I, I feel kind of strong and a little aggressive i feel very aggressive actually oh good to know <laughs> I'll be, i'm trying not to piss you off too much <laughs> ah come on brad you're just motivated what's me. the biggest penis you've ever had in your mouth i'm assuming that question's for lenny yeah <laughs> girl penis <laughs> just a, just an assumption probably up 10 or 11. lenny does have a computer it's a laptop to ask how you research if you don't have a computer First time I did it, I was so indescribably ashamed of myself. But it's like I said, I, I, I'm a firm believer in digging yourself down into a hole through embarrassment and rising up out of it and being humiliated. Have you risen up out of it yet? Or are you still Yes, but then again, you go back into comfort zone and you start thinking you're the shit. In the meantime, you got to get back into the embarrassment because so know, it's a cycle embarrass yourself climb out of it embarrass yourself climb out of it yeah motivate yourself never get into that comfort because we're not going to be here for much longer all of us whether you're looking at 30 years or 50 years or one year it goes by quick man life Look, is life and you could shit, be we yeah. could be dead in a minute so. it seems like this 
you know, I'm going to be 40 this year. It seems like it fucking flew by. And like me. Tony, you like said, he goes, Lenny, you know, he says, it's crazy. He said to me, honestly, Lenny, because you're almost 50 years old. He says, get out and learn, get out and see what the world's about. You have to travel. Don't listen to others. You, yeah. Well, that's what he was saying. Like, you don't, you don't realize. He how said his eyes opened up so much going to these different countries. The next goal for yourself should be, you got to travel. You got to leave the country. And well, actually that, and of course, you know what the great thing is about living in South Florida is our proximity to so many great places. If you want to go to Dominican Republic, Aruba, Costa Rica, Colombia, anywhere. Yeah. This is all a two hour plane ride. It's know? nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You close your eyes. You take a nap. You wake up. You're there. And it's not, it's not that expensive either. No, it really isn't. And like Dr. You said, he said it. It's on film. <laughs> <laughs> I'll it's believe good that. for him, I'll believe too. that when it happens. Because the viral Mets, Met records, the Mets. That's really an outstanding guy. Yeah. I, he was, I liked his honesty from day one. Same so, with Dave Palumbo. Yeah, I follow these yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. Like, I reach out to Dave Crossland. Those are the guys that I aspire. I, they're, they're for real. They teach you about life. International Mets. Yeah. Going international. That's, yeah. that's the... That's the evolution of all this, Leonard. Well, you know, it's like- We Brad, gotta do videos in other countries right. now. And it's like Brad said, I guarantee you there are people in the UK, Australia, the Netherlands. If we said we're planning a trip to your country, they put us up like that. Guarantee it. Place, Roll out the red carpet. Places to stay. Oh yeah. We have a good fucking time. Take too. advantage. And plus, it's better always. Good to, people, to, too. Yeah, you know? and to hang out and to stay with locals so they can show you oh, all yeah. the local shit. Right. Not the tourist trap. Crap. Get, and guess who right. did that? Christina. She went all over the world as a teenager on Mystery Hunter. She learned a lot. Every country she went to. She was even in Florida and she was fishing and she caught a sturgeon. You ever see them? It looks like a prehistoric fish. Freaky looking. I wonder what she learned while she was in Florida. Stay the fuck away from Delray Beach. <laughs> now, this was Probably a little, no -go zone. This was before yeah, I discovered yeah, it's her. it's perfect. But that's my ultimate destiny. <laughs> and it's soon to be reality. And this crate is pretty damn good. All right, everybody contact Adam Pollard and get your Kratom. It's a real deal. It's Lenny approved. It's now I feel energized. Good. Confident. Good, so you can walk your ass home. I can crawl home naked. <laughs> I like to crawl home naked with that girl on my back. Which you guys are finally going to get your domination video and see what a real workout's like. Don't say this shit before she... No, it's she, gonna happen. She didn't commit. No, it's she, gonna happen. She was one of these. She's just yesing him. Okay, sure. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. That's he's telling sounds her. Sounds like this someone shit. else I know. Oh yeah, he he's telling her all this shit that he wants her to do to him yeah. in his backyard, and she's laughing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. You know. Yeah, but uh, she she lifted her lips up and showed us piercings in her tongue, in her teeth, all over that, her body. Was, what do you mean piercings in her teeth? No, she looked like she had. Piercings in there? Or is this I've seen up, that up before. I've, I've seen oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of girl in her right mind would get those pin? Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to see her on Delray, B Delray Misfits Instagram page in a day. You're going to see what she looks like. And believe me, when we'll, she put her hand we'll around me, tomorrow. That's fine. she all couldn't right. wait to, to rub skin on me, <laughs> to rub bodily fluid and bacteria all over me. You get my drift. <laughs> and believe me, there are a lot of people. He was full on telling her all the shit that he wanted her to do to him. She was like, going she right along with it. it. Okay, he's like, I'll make you famous. That's so confidence. Be famous. She is. She's going to be famous. <laughs> That's confidence, Brad. When you see the Dracula eyes, then when I show him the teeth, that's the secret. Women cannot resist that. When they see this confidence, like those waitresses. And you haven't been laid in over a fucking year. Laid. What, what do you mean by laid? <laughs> You haven't gotten any pussy. So what? Ass I got their mind. I give them control of them totally. Control. Okay. Why don't you control them to come clean your fucking house? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to clean her. She can make me clean it. Whichever makes for the good mints. <laughs> we should wait till after she's done beating you in the backyard. Then you can show her inside the place. Fine. Then she'll beat you some more for being And baby bird me. Uh, she'll have to bring her own food. Well... So I don't think anybody will eat. She's going to be world house. famous. All right, if you say so. And I'm going to. She's going to draw blood when I'm doing deadlifts. I'm going to take us. I want a Brad's studded belts that he has in his closet. <laughs> and bash, beat me so bad I bleed. <laughs> and she could spit salt water on the, the wound. Begins. I've seen them. I can vouch. 
<laughs> yeah, Brad's got a lot of leather in that closet. A lot of leather. That's from all the old fetish balls back in the Vegas days. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you Mr. Leather? Nevada, 1994. <laughs> I was there from 97 to 99. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Leather. And that's why I they came up my, with I the remember, term what stays in Vegas. I, I remember a buddy of mine walking through the fetish ball. He had the gimp mask and a leather Speedo and boots <laughs> with a dog collar on. And boots. A buddy of yours. Yeah. A friend of mine. He's walking in by. In quotation this, this, marks. This, this, girl, this girl had her fucking, you know, she had one of those. Those chaps on were asses. He just assless up. chaps. Yeah, put his tongue right up her ass. Didn't know the fucking broad nothing. And that's legal. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just licking a random hey, chick's ass. He did off. it. Didn't give a fuck. What was he taking? I don't know. Brad, you mentioned to me a, a time when you were rolling in Vegas and you were wearing an outfit. You want to get into detail? You no. mentioned it earlier. <laughs> you got me curious. I haven't heard of this story. That was I wasn't wearing any outfit. I had my I just had pants on and then I had no shirt and I rubbed my whole body down with Vicks vapor rub. <laughs> Dude, I we we started with one we we ate like two rolls and then just kept pop, and they say what are rolls? Ecstasy. Okay. When you're peaking, it's called when you're blowing up. You know, you're right? peaking. And so I just kept eating them. I you're probably peaking, ate five or Brad, six. Okay. Five or six. Out of my fucking mind. Out of my mind. I had a hat on that had lights on it and shit. What'd it look like? Out of my fucking mind. <laughs> I mean, a hat with lights on it. It's like Harvey? <laughs> I don't know. From the Halloween like party? Because, you know, it, it, back <laughs> those in, were glasses with lights. Uh, back in the, late, in the late 90s or mid to late 90s, rave, it's, raves were popular. Then. And you Correct. invented that term? Like, no, but shut up. I'm trying to fucking. You asked me, I'm telling you, jackass. You know, but he has the fucking glow sticks and that. Yeah. Did you invent those? No, no. I wish I did. I'd be fucking rich. <laughs> glow stick. Everybody had them. The fuck the for? Street, there was a, a club called Utopia. It was nuts. Utopia. You would have loved it. You would have fucking loved it. Yeah, I know. Was Dorian Yates there, was... there with a mesh shirt? <laughs> uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, One they keep those. commenting on that. Another, another RX muscle thing. They, the cat's out of the bag with the... Dorian's getting hammered. Are you referring to somebody that's a supplement company down the road? Know. Just, you know, their tone of voice sometimes, their mannerism. Ah, you know, tone of voice. We all know who that is. When you, you talk a certain way, you sound, you know. If it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it talks like a duck. It's a duck. He wears a thong at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Please. You know. Go to a, go to the French Riviera. Go to Cannes. If, if you're not wearing a little speedo, you you stand out. I remember when I was in Cannes, my friend and I were wearing normal bathing suits, and everyone else is wearing a little speedo. We're the idiots who stood out because everyone else is wearing a speedo. So what about the women? A lot of them topless. Yeah. Jeez, it's not frowned upon like it is here. I Everything, saw pictures of this nudist beaches fucking, with kids. That was weird. People are sheltered in this fucking country. That you can't. Everything is offensive or, you know, it's fucking ridiculous. Sex is viewed very differently in Europe generally than it is in the United States. It's well, that's not like what he was saying about right. Thailand today. You know, it's very it's not repressed. Right. It's ridiculous. I fucking yeah. I put a picture on my Snapchat Valentine's Day. It was a heart-shaped scrotum. Oh, that was with, great. With banner. I sent that to so <laughs> many is, people. <laughs> this is Happy Valentine's Day. And they fucking Snapchat gave me a timeout for that because somebody flagged it. They didn't like that. Meanwhile, there's chicks on there that have fuck, their finger in their pussies and, and assholes and shit, but right. their shit doesn't get flagged. That's because we're followed by a bunch of... Here, I'll show you what it was. There's oversensitive fucks. Just don't fucking follow something if you don't like it. And even if you don't mm -hmm. like it, why would you flag it? There's plenty of guys I don't like on fucking YouTube. I'm not going to flag their shit. I just won't watch it. Yes. How fucking hard is that? I'm so sick of that shit. We Look. have rights. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that does look real. It is. So what, though? Who gives yeah, a fuck exactly. if it's... It's funny. Who gives a shit? It's a goof. <laughs> well, Jay's fucking annoying tonight, man, with the text. And that's what he wants at the bottom. Don't read it out loud. Yeah, I just see it. I just see it. I saw it. I'm reading it, too. Stop. Don't read it out loud, Leonard. Okay. Close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What's he going to do? Embarrass Caloria Jim coming down natural at 220? Is that how much Caloria weighs? 220? Supposedly. How tall is he? 5'9". 225. So he's my height. What's Jay going to try to do? 
Show them up. Shit. I just cramped up. I did too much today, man. Waiting for you. My whole fucking animal cramped all up here. That's weird. Before Kalora comes to town. Oh, God. <laughs> Kalora hasn't juiced in five years, he told me when yeah. I was texting him the what, other day. What, does Jay day. think he's going to have a fucking lift off with this guy? <laughs> Fuck knows. Has oh. Jay ever met him or no? No. Mike P has hung out together. Actually, he, Andrew shot up Mike P. I think First he time he met him. Andrew fucking comes out with a needle, pull your pants down. Deck and test. And he did. He pulled his pants down. Pulled his pants down. He's like, he was, uh, this guy looks like a monster. Uh-huh. Perfect. That's a good introduction. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck would anybody do that? To get big. Yeah, but just a random guy. No. First time meeting a guy and he wants to inject your ass. How many people will let somebody do that? Fucking dunce. <laughs> what the yet. fuck is wrong with the guy? Come on. Thank you for keeping it on iTunes. You're welcome. Before we get banned from there, too. Yeah. Because he's oversensitive fucking pussies. You guys can... Well, I won't say his name. He asked me not to. But the guy in England who set all this shit up, I'd, I'd love to give him credit, but he asked me not to. He put in a lot of time getting this all done. When I went to upload episode 14, there were still a lot of bugs with the website, and he... Just like that, fixed all of them for me. Good. He's the opposite of Chris Long. Somebody that wants to do good and doesn't want credit for yeah, it. Well, Chris Long's exactly. not doing good. He's doing bad. He's perpetuating a problem, and I got a problem with that. What you, your dad did with uh, Judas Priest, that's his business. But oh, jeez. I got a problem with you. Allegedly. Yeah. Let's say yeah. allegedly, please. People are getting... Capital A. People are getting abused by cops. Somebody asked, why were you discharged from the Air Force? For striking a high-ranking sergeant who stuck a pen up my nose when I'm guarding a building and I feel the blood, I smell the blood coming out of my mouth and I gave him a right, roundhouse right. Why did he stick a pencil up your nose? Testing me. Because they want you to be still because I'm in training and my job was a uh -huh. security policeman and sometimes I required you to go to embassies around the world. So that was it, one strike, you're out? Or did you do other Well, shit? one strike, I physically punched him in the freaking mouth and knocked head in the nose and knocked him down. Blood everywhere. And they called security police. I started fighting with three of them. Next thing you know, there's 20 of them. And they had their knees on me pinned to the ground because I just went nuts. You would think they'd want an animal like that. No, I was just side. thinking the exact what? same thing. So what do they want? Pussies in there or what? Well, the guy that I hit was supposedly a black belt. And when I was walking around in corrective custody... But you're still on the base and you still they make, give you jobs to do and I actually went to church when i went to church all these other other guys were, oh i can't believe you knocked out sergeant mon with the buck teeth he looked like sting <laughs> sting from back in the 80s when he had some muscle you know the the wrestler the, yeah the blonde flat top back in the 80s look exactly like him with the buck teeth i don't think it was any big deal so there's your answer whoever asked that for it and they made me cut the grass with basically what do you call those bush pruners or in a scorpion infested field in texas and i remember the scorpions trying to climb up my combat boots it was disgusting and they had pus and venom they were trying to sting my stinging into the clucky combat boots on stinging into them and there's pus all over and it stunk <laughs> and there was women's corrective custody and they would let them outside the same time as us and do work and i remember these polynesian women I don't know. Uh, they're pretty hot, thick. And the one girl said to me, she goes, I'm dick sick. I was like, what's that mean? She goes, I want some dick. Goes, oh, my God. Should I give Gideon a call? Yeah, call. Mario might be calling, too. But go ahead, call G Gideon first. All right, hold on. Uh, all right. Calling Gideon to see if he's uh, down to be on the podcast. Hang on. Deep comment or something on the thing? No, but I know he wanted to be on. Fuck it. Gideon Milkins. Your call has been forwarded to an auto- He's probably being cucked at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he get divorced and fall right back into another fucking trap? <laughs> he was never married. Uh, well, Cornelius engaged. engaged. Yeah, well, he, he, had a kid, engaged. he had a kid with the, the woman. He might as well have been yeah, fucking married. Well. That's just the same shit. Same shit. Cornel Cornelius she is turned right out to, to be, be quite the right psycho. Now. Hmm? Cornelius, he's right to be cucked. If you get my drift. Oh, while wow, he's recovering from his injury? Yeah. You dirty dog. You would do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course he would. I think they both would enjoy it. I get the vibe I highly he doubt he would let you <laughs> fuck his wife in front of him. I wouldn't I mind really doing a threesome. I really doubt that. You sick fuck. You really are a sick fuck. 
Why, you want to play with his balls? Or you while, want his cock in your while mouth? While she watches, whatever she commands me us to do. Oh, my gosh. We're like, we're both cocked I by I hope he's her. playing this in his gym right now. You we're hear what both cocked by her. <laughs> yeah, I think he does. I think well, he, she he, is. He put, play, put the earmuffs <laughs> on your kid, Cornelius. Somebody sopping wet panties after she hears it, please. <laughs> send Lenny a pair of her panties. <laughs> Wasn't he supposed to send you one? Yeah, well, Jail was supposed to steal it when he comes over. Who? Dale was supposed to find one in their hamper. What the fuck? Dale's had to go to Cornelius' house, rummage through the hamper. On the sly, yeah. On the sly. Did you make up that, Leonard? (laughs) Did you make up that word? (laughs) Brad, you're being way unreasonable. (laughs) You got him, Brad. No, he didn't. He got you. pretty weak. Okay. Weak. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Don't do that to me. That's a good way to make a person go insane. Okay, all right. I think that now when he's on the kratom, he already did that. Yeah, it's a good feel. So Dale agreed to go steal her. her well, he panties. said he could see what he could do. I I highly doubt he was serious, Leonard. He's probably just you know agreeing with you to shut you up. For some reason, he, right now, especially right now, I'd like her to tie me up and torture me. No, no, there's no limits. What's her name again? What the fuck is her name? I don't remember. God damn it. I think she's... What is she on Instagram? Nice EP? Something like Like, that. Like, burn me with hot candle wax. (laughs) You hear that, Cornelius? Set it up. Next time you come down here, you're going to cuck yourself. It's worth a try. (laughs) Who knows? He may like it. Uh, He may like it. I don't know, man. He didn't seem like that type. You know what you should do if Cornelius has to go in for surgery for a torn pec? Go into the operating room and just as he's going under with the anesthesia, let him see you walk into the operating room. And then he's out. <laughs> and ask for and his he, wife. Right. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'll take yeah. care of him. Uh, and then he wakes up. He has no idea what happened. Uh, did you really have a no liability form ready available for somebody to sign? Yes. Yes. I draw one up. As far as not so much for lawsuits, but for criminal charges. I don't want that on my record. Oh, boy. Did you hear this? I didn't even hear this. What? The Donkey Kong Fitness. It's just fucking, yeah, it's yeah. Just fucking funny name. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of her. We know the Donkey Kong Fitness. You know who he's referring to. Thoughts on Prime Minister Trudeau changing mankind to people kind. Oh, I saw To that be more PC clip. in Canada. You're a young douchebag cunt just like your father <laughs> you never did anything masculine in your life that's disrespect to men and you're not a man you're a cunt and how dare you <laughs> canada won't be a place we're going but no that's going. where broccolini construction is headquartered in and you're not helping matters any with their business you cunt People kind. Give me a fucking break. Give me a fucking break. There was there were a few other things you wanted to talk about. You're so cool, Trudeau. Whoops. whoops. Uh, he said it, Brad. You missed it. He said cool. Why did I say oh, that? Oh, <laughs> I've never said that. <laughs> Fuck you. And getting back to Andrew, what you said earlier, I wouldn't mind going in for surgery and having uh, like some type of prostate surgery and having uh, you know who take off the surgical mask. And have a big who's you know have who? a big knife where I'm spread out spread eagle and she not she's ready and saying? then I go out if you know what I mean. No, we don't, and I don't want to know what you mean actually. Oh, yeah. Why can't you just say it? Yeah, yeah I don't want to. You don't want to gross her out too much, or you don't think you've done that? That, yet? that bridge has already been crossed. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it, Lenny. Yeah. He's got a good sense of humor. I remember what she put on for that night show when she put that skirt on and then pantyhose. Mm. I'm like, whoa. What, when we went out after the Ruby? For the night show, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, man. This is the most I've seen you get excited about him. An actual woman. Yeah. Yeah, she had it. um, That sounded like a cookie cutter. She had it going on. (laughs) (laughs) You're all about it tonight, huh? (laughs) Jesus Christ, Leonard. Yeah, there was a guy that fucking direct messaged me about the shirts a couple weeks ago. I got to get permission from the boss before oh, I can buy God. a shirt. Meaning his wife? Yeah. Jesus. You, you fucking cock. 
You fucking kidding me. I hear that at my job every day. These old beaten beaten old dogs who've been married for fifty or sixty beaten years. Old dogs. I'll be on the phone with one of the members at the country club. I'll, let, let me ask the boss. And I'll say I'm like, yeah, go ask the boss. <laughs> <laughs> let me know what the how the boss fucking responds. Pussy. Why or, would you uh, <laughs> Or I'll be talking with one of these old like I said, these beaten old dogs and <laughs> beaten you know, old dogs. And then they'll be very nice and then I'll hear in the background, God damn it, Stanley, that's not what I told you to tell him. Give me the fucking phone. Uh, and then and so, uh, I've seen that in public. It's it's hard the, to watch. These are men who are just Gosh. resigned to their pathetic you don't have face. A brain in your head. No. Yeah. That what the fuck is wrong with you? Resign to their fates. I'm like, what do you mean the boss? Does she make all the money? No, I work. Well, what the fuck do you need permission to, to buy a $20 fucking shirt? Are you kidding me? What the fuck is that? But she, she'll she probably go out and buy $3,000 right. shoes or some shit to wear out for one exactly, fucking night. Exactly right. You know? You pussy. I told him, you're such, oh, if you see my girlfriend, you'd know why. I'm like, I don't give a fuck what she looks like. Mm. You never, you can't. <laughs> uh, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> Creep. Unfucking believable. Here, somebody. Totally emasculated. Piss Lord sent a, a video. A special message from Christina to Lenny. Don't drop the microphone. Lenny's mouth just totally flew open. Here. All right, Lenny's about to watch the video. Hold on. Why the fuck isn't it playing? Turn the volume up. <laughs> Put your microphone up to me. Seventeen to be exact. Man, that was so brave. I just came up there on stage just after getting out of the hospital. It sounds just like her. Yeah. Just thinking about that. <laughs> My bed just needs mopped. Please give me a call soon, baby. I love you. Hi, big Lenny. It's me, Christina Brockovina. I don't think Lenny realizes it's looping Christina. again and again. Oh, give me this. That was such a terrible fucking voice. Pollard said that might be, since you're a big son of a bitch, you might need more, M more of the dose. That's mm. working pretty good. Yeah. Don't, don't go over, go overboard. No, I won't, I won't take any more today, but I think it's kicking in with the euphoria <laughs> synergist. I think it's a good synergistic agent. You want to smoke some reefer? Uh. <laughs> right as you said that, I read a question. How high is Andrew right now? <laughs> Actually, not at all. <laughs> Laying off the devil's lettuce tonight. The devil's lettuce. Yeah, you. What are you, what are you laughing at? You fuck? <laughs> Me, I'm just going through some of these questions. How's Lenny doing downsizing the belly with Palumbo's help? I'm taking huge fecal evacuations. <laughs> so you're taking <laughs> shits. But at the moment, I'm having a little issue. Probably because of my lousy pre-workout I took of a brand that hopefully I don't have to take anymore once we get our own rolling, but I'm having some issues right now. Yeah, we gave them the ingredients to go over and see what, what it would cost for that. For the, the freak Kimbo. out. The freak out supplement. Kimbo, how's your tummy? Do you have any upset <laughs> Brad, listen to this. This oh, is great. Boy. If Andrew and Brad never get married, or in Brad's case, remarried, will they be two old guys living together? The new generation of grumpy old men. <laughs> you, you guys in your recliners with a Lenny's ashes on the table between you. <laughs> Great fucking question. Uh, Wait, fucking and then Jay fun. chimed in. Andrew is Felix Unger, Jay wrote. <laughs> that's great from the odd couple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack Klugman. <laughs> I never it. <laughs> For those who don't know or live overseas, Lenny is singing the theme song to the old TV show called The Odd Couple. Yeah, there's no way in hell the maniacs right. would know that. Brad doesn't even know don't what Hee Haw was. YouTube. I said Dale Chance looks like a character from Hee Haw. Brad doesn't even when know When I was that a is. kid, I got outside and fucking did things. I didn't sit at home and watch TV like a fucking dork. Did okay, things, asshole. What, smoking dope? <laughs> yeah, we got got out and, and played. Played with what? Played with devil's my lettuce. dick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start with doing the that. Devil's lettuce. See, <laughs> the kids go when, when I was when I was growing up. We went out and actually did shit. You know what I'm saying? You get out and explore. 
On your skateboard? Yes. I did a lot of skateboarding. <laughs> I, was in, I, was like in, I was into skateboarding, yes. Did the girls like you From sweaty skateboarding? From middle school to high school. Did the girls like you guys? They fucking loved it. Why? Who the fuck knows? Because they were dirty horse. <laughs> <laughs> you hey, never skateboarded, hey, did you? Brad, if you... No. Look into there. Two new... Take a look. Oh. Ah, Brad likes. Oh. You know who gave me those? Yep, I know. All right. So His cool. name starts with an L. Oh, beautiful. Larry. Brad likes. Nope. Leonard. Oh, no, no, not you. LeBron. Whoops. It only took Brad an hour and 23 minutes to raid my stash tonight. You see the one that's called, um, is it called birthday cake? That's the one I'm trying. No, well, the other one is supposed to be much more potent. Well, that's the, that's the indica. I don't like indica. Okay. Yeah, L told me that the birthday cake is smooth. Indica is that couch locker. Correct. I won't be able to get up. Right. That's hey, exactly what hey, Kimbo. L said. Kimbo. <laughs> hey, Kimbo. <laughs> hmm? You know. What are you doing, Brad? You got the glass dick again. It's better than a real dick. Not, that, not off a tan, tan, tan. No way. Now we can see how the kratom and the contact high interact with each other. Jeez. I'm going to need a gas mask. Let me give you a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe it in, Leonard. Don't hold your breath, you pussy. Kimbo, help me. Lenny looks absolutely repulsed. <laughs> you know it smells good. It doesn't. You don't think so? It's creepy. 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 Yeah, you, you grew up in a time where it was unacceptable to smoke dope. Well, the dope smokers. I heard that on a daily basis. You want to be like the dope smokers? I know my dad used to say the same shit. Smoke dope. They're smoking dope. No, but when I was a kid, man, I, I wasn't into TV and video games and shit. Where'd you find this fascination with comic book heroes? It wasn't a, fascina a fascination. I just collected comics. I liked comics. Did you like the Silver we had Surfer? We up the... Up the up in the, uh, I don't know what the fuck you call it, strip mall or whatever by where I lived, yeah. they had a comic book store. And I, of course, you go in there to get baseball cards and then they have comics and shit. So I just started buying them yeah, there. I still have quite a few of them in stores really? somewhere, yeah. Do you have any silver surfers? I probably have one. There's I, some Spider-Man. Yeah, I did like the Fantastic Four quite X-Men, all that shit. Yeah. Hey, listen, whatever. Hulk. Yeah. Punisher. Where'd your fascination come from? Well, going to the store with my mother and then seeing the old Spider-Man comics. They call it the 5 and 10 store in Oakmont, Pennsylvania. How much do you think they'd be worth if you still had them? My collection would definitely be worth total 50 grand minimum. No shit. I had some old Spider-Mans in mint condition. Some rich kids just gave it to me because they felt sorry for me. They wanted to be my friend. <laughs> they feel sorry for you after you were my jerking off for all the neighbors. Ripped them to shred. Ripped them up. He ripped them all up? Yeah, he came home from school one day. They were all ripped up on my bed. I was like, where'd you do that? He says, well, I think you're paying attention, paying more attention to this and your schoolwork and your football practice and your lifting. So I removed the distraction. I'm like, fuck. Spider-Man number seven, mint condition. But, you know, I don't want to get into it right now. That's I'm fine. Gonna, You've I'm talked about it before. We know. Yeah. It is what it is. Believe me, we've all wasted a lot of money that we wish we had back right now. You're referring to hookers, drugs? <laughs> <laughs> Chewing gum. You make, you you know, sometimes you make bad investments and shit, too. Shit happens. I you, li that. you live and learn, man. Yeah. You can't put a price on life experience, so... All worth it in the end. You got to get out, man. He, you've only been to Pennsylvania, Texas, and Florida, huh? Yeah. You'd be shocked. In Ohio. I was in Ohio. Yeah. Lake Erie. That was like the beach. Well, that sounds real exciting. <laughs> the beach. <laughs> All a bunch of pale fat asses in the summer, right? Yeah. Sea lampreys in there. They suck on your... Bite you and suck the blood out of you. They're in the, infested in that lake. What are they? They're called sea lampreys. They're like giant leeches. Mm. They're stuck to you and they suck the blood out of you. They bite you. Really? Sea lamprey. Did you ever get one on yet? No. Why the fuck would you go swimming in there if they're in there? Because that's the only thing you call a beach. You couldn't see across it. It basically looked like an ocean, but it was a lake. Huh. Interesting. So, what else do we have to cover this week? 
fuck else? We had you and I. We were talking at the gym last week, and we had some shit. Fuck, I forgot. We're gonna talk about. I brought up the whole what constitutes an athlete thing. We talked about that in the gym a little bit. Yeah. About what constitutes a cookie cutter. Somebody that looks around, looks to others for what they wear, what they put a, they put tattoos on, what these people listen to, what they drive, what they do for leisure activity. That's a cookie cutter looking around, looking around instead of being into their own life and their own What do you mean look around for leisure activity? Looking around, see what other people are doing. Cookie cutter. Worrying about the latest movie they put. Oh, I want to see that. I don't fuck the fuck for. The Black Panther. Siri, what the fuck for? Didn't Damon Wayans do a comedy? Never heard of her. (laughs) It was a comedy. He's fucking funny. Oh, yeah. Homie the Clown. You ever see his son? He looks just like him. He was in the new Curb Your Enthusiasm series. He played a cop. Looks and sounds exactly like his dad. He did a, a comedy black um, superhero movie, I think, in the early 90s. I don't remember what yeah, it was I called. Yeah, I did see though. that, yeah. What the hell was that called? Oh, now you changed it. Well, what was it, Blank that. Man? I think it was Blank Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Like a parody. Right. Black Panther. They're all excited because they get a black superhero. Even though they they got Nick Fury. And in the comic books, Nick Fury was white. Yes. But Samuel L. Jackson needed to be put oh, in the, these movies. So. Yeah. <laughs> Now Nick Fury's a black guy. <laughs> you know who I'm starting to get really sick of seeing everywhere these days? Kevin Hart. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is there anyone more overexposed? If you watch the NBA All-Star Weekend this past Front weekend, row with his kids. all you saw uh, yeah. was Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hart roasting players. It's just... He's just dick riding all these NBA players. Go the fuck away already. Unfortunately, when I'm looking at the, my internet, they had that on the cafeteria. I wasn't looking at the screen, but what I heard was enough to make me gag. I watched his hour long stand up comedy special from years ago. I didn't laugh a single time. I didn't find it funny at all. I mean, some of my favorite stand up comics of all time are Brian Regan, Robert Schimmel. Bobby Slayton and I, I watched it I tried to laugh I tried to find it funny there was not one single joke that he made that made me even crack a smile yeah I think it's a part of it I don't get his there's another guy shtick. fucking Dane Cook was horrible yeah I, I, I don't know Cook. why he was so funny the only funny thing he did was that movie Waiting he was funny yeah. in that but otherwise he did some I've tried to watch one of his specials where he's like in I think it was Madison Square Garden he's in the he's in, in the middle circle. and he's surrounded it's terrible correct I've seen I got through like 30 I'm like when the fuck am I gonna laugh this, this yeah. shit is not even funny I, I don't find I don't know where the appeal well, that, is that's there. how I feel about Kevin Hart just yeah i haven't watched any of his specials yeah, don't Seems waste your, don't one, waste your time yeah. there's great comedies out there now great comedians i showed my son i told him to look up the bill burr rant on he's funny as hell i took your advice and i walked i looked him up on youtube he's funny did you see his rant the, you know, on philadelphia no i'll have to look it up i'll look for it tomorrow at work he was actually he was in new jersey but it was a big philly you know crowd there and i don't know if they're heckling him or something something pissed him off and he just went off on philadelphia it was fucking great he's on stage great. or during no, a podcast stage. no he was on stage i have to look that up his podcast is great too that guy's awesome i saw him at the hard rock he was good man never heard of her he will i didn't hear of her either till brad told me he's great <laughs> <laughs> you funny like- guy I'm his, ve- show, his show on Netflix, F is for Family, is funny as shit, too. I'm very picky when it comes to stand-up comedians I find funny. I, I just I set the bar very high, and he he's funny. He, you he like his wife. He's exceeded my expectations. After three minutes, if he doesn't make you laugh, they never will. Right. Yep. Yeah. Professional comedians know that, too. They got to get you right my away. My favorite ever, ever of all time, Robert Schimmel. Holy shit, he was funny. I got to see him in 2007, and he died in a car accident a few years later. Anyone, if you never heard of him, Robert Schimmel, S C H I M M E L, look funny. him up on YouTube. My favorite was Holy George shit. Carlin by far. Yeah, he was great. Especially because he was so. Ready, Lenny? Anti religion. <laughs> anti God. Well, he could be anti religion, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's burning in hell right now. <laughs> Who's your favorite comedian? Uh, probably. Shit. I'll say the name. I hate to say it. LeBron James. What? Because everything he says it does is a fucking joke. 
Shut up and dribble. <laughs> Shut up and dribble. They got so mad at that broad. Yeah. What was that? What? Laura, was, what Laura, was the context of that? Well, that's not the first time Laura Ingram has made a remark like that about a celebrity. She said, she, for anyone who doesn't know, Laura Ingram is a conservative uh, journalist for Fox News, and she has a show. I forget what it's called. And she says, "Shut up and sing about singer. Shut up and fill oh, in the so blank." Oh, it's just a shtick. Right. It, it's oh, a shtick that she says about celebrities. Shut up and fill in the blank. Whatever their occupation is. Exactly. Or okay. So, it, referring to NBA players, particularly LeBron James. You know, some of these NBA players like LeBron James will speak up politically from time to time about Talking out of his ass. social yeah, issues. Sense. And she basically told them, shut up and play basketball. No one gives a shit. You're, you're a basketball player. Stay in your lane. And he lashed out back at her. He let her have it. Oh, tough guy. What he needs to do is shave his fucking head. Because those hair plugs and his fucking hair. I like, <laughs> dude, your hair's already real short. You could tell you don't have an egg head. Just fucking get a razor and go bald already. Quit. I mean, come on. Yeah. He's fucking embarrassing himself. Every camera angle, when it's above him, you could tell that he's just... Good, let it, he can speak. Let it the fuck go. And looking at me Let it the fuck himself. go. Are you that fucking vain? That Shut you up, need to dribble, have hair? pass, Come on. and shoot. And that's all you do. And you know it. that's why you're all bent out of shape. That's all you He's do. He's got nothing to be sad or worried about. A game. He, the guy's fucking. His, it's not a sport. It's a game. Every generation in his family now is is taken care of Set forever. for life. Yeah. yeah. He's got no worries. He's, family generations are nothing but heartaches. The drug addicts, the out of wedlock births the theft the murders you name it is going to happen to him because it's easy money that's the worst thing you could do is have certain people have be set for life <sighs> that's because those old time millionaires like the rothschilds and such so and, and the rockefellers their bloodline was so pure it was good to have the wealth in their family and it was kept out of the, the criminals and the bad elements of society for a reason like I said, I ever see him in person, I'm going to take a shot at him regardless. Who, LeBron? Yeah. I'll go to a heat. And you can game. call the FBI. <laughs> Why do you have a game? He is an ass whooping. His father was never on to give him. Keep his damn mouth shut out of talking about things he has no business talking about, doesn't have the knowledge on. How do you know he doesn't have the fucking knowledge? In the youth. He saw everything he says is fucking ridiculous. He made up that lie about somebody writing his gate of his home or they spray painted it and then and cops Angeles, is like right? where is it well i painted over it because i didn't want on i remember when that you happened. lying sack of shit you you don't believe it he's a fucking liar. why the fuck would you we would at least want the cops to see what they did when they come by where is it there wasn't yeah. any there, he didn't take a picture of it? Nothing? Nothing. There was or nothing just, or, there. Or you could he, put like a, ta a tarp over it. Right. Or yeah. He pell him, so I painted over it. Well, where's your proof? You so that's why you hate him? I don't hate him, but he's a, he needs his ass kicked. Why? And I'm the man to give it to him. Okay. And why? Yeah, why? He's corrupting the youth of this country that look up to him. He's How? a bad role model. How's that? <laughs> he's a liar. He's a race monger. He's a white-hating scum when he should be on his knees thanking the white men for providing for him. LeBron James, if correct me if I'm wrong, isn't he one of the most upstanding citizens in the NBA? Oh, yeah. Great family man, wife, huh. kids. Never, he's, well, never been, never, he's never been in any trouble. Never been in trouble. No DUI, no domestic abuse. None, none of that shit, Because he gets away with murder. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> he's how, you, they, they, you have something against him because he's great at what he there, fucking does. There's, what does he do? He plays basketball. Ooh. And he's great at it. And you can't great. fucking... You what do you mean by great? You can't deny that. Well, let's see how great he was. I was at court and I dove at his knees and busted him from the side. See how fucking <laughs> great he is when I grab his fingers and break him. That would be... <laughs> I rip his pinky finger right off the socket and throw it across the That room. would be a flagrant two foul and you'd be ejected from the game, Lenny. Good. You'd be ejected it's worth from the it. fucking league. It's worth it. <laughs> they can eject me from society just as long as I give them the ass. You've already, you've already eject ejected yourself. Sitting to hear about him every fucking time I turn on a radio. A Mario's calling? No Mar good Mario, to society. Mario, what, what's your nationality, Mario? Italian. Uh, Mexican, Italian, German, and Haitian. He breaks down. We got a whole bunch of reasons to hate you. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was the last one? 
Haitian from the waist down, he said. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you got the pinworms, I see. <laughs> Speak up. You're on I'm speaker. So sorry, you're, on, you're on the podcast. This is... Like the tax, but, uh, wait, is this live right now? It's not live. We're recording it, but we don't edit anything out. So whatever you say is going to go on there, just so you know. That's a disclaimer so, for you. So, Mario, Andrew here. What's uh, up? You're, you're, you're kind of legendary in the whole Genova-verse. For anyone who's new to this whole thing or hasn't been around for a while, why don't you uh, give everyone a little background on who you are and your relevance in all this? Uh, I'll, I'll just keep it short and sweet. Um, back in 2011, so I've been following Genova, and I, I don't know, I kind of just bumped into it so many years back, so I'm thinking like 2011. And then I remember, I don't know why, but I think I was just a younger version of myself. We were, we're all just trolling around. And then somehow, like, we managed to get a prank call Jason, or I forgot what happened. And then, like, he just went off on this huge fucking ramp and uh, started slamming her weights around, calling me, like, my dog ugly. I remember. I was there to <laughs> film it. <laughs> That's a great video. And then ever since, like, I have no idea, like, people make so many And then I guess it just died out. And then, you know, like, the new cookie cutter fan that, you know, kind of take us over. Like, I mean, I'm 20, 25 now. Turning 26 and like a lot, I think that was probably that, that's like the rough age I think for most of like the viewers. I don't know if that if that's fair to say. What do you think? What the me the median age for our viewers? Yeah, I don't know. Probably like 26. Um, I mean, at least if they've been following Genova for some years now. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck you, Brad. <laughs> what did that asshole say? That had more <laughs> I, I, intellectual. I just, I just got it. Like me and the LeBron James ever like did. I with him here and there, and then, like, I think he blocked my number because if you're a guy and you text him, he's just gonna block you. Unless you're giving him money. Like you have to be like a girl. Yeah, or unless you give him fifteen bucks. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear he asked? Uh, Big Rob Fitness for seventy five dollars for his birthday. Um, Rob Rob yeah. said it in the video. Why seventy five? He outed him. One. Yeah, what's seventy five gonna get you? And what's with that? Iron extortionist. Yeah, exactly. Everybody knows now, man. It's the, it's the new fans that have no fucking clue, but they're learning. Very, you learn real quick with that asshole. You know what? I, I feel like there's always been like periods where like I've watched like kind of like the coaches come and go. So I'm not sure like if there were more coaches that you know were probably in the picture. I remember there was the you know, the Johnny NYC, and that you know that was a good one. Big Rob was, you know, come and go. I was short, and then I think the best was like Coach Adams because he actually got him abs. Correct. Right. That's what Adam said from day one. I will get him abs, and he did it. We talked about that last. Yeah, week. Yeah, we had Adam on. Yeah, we had Adam on the last podcast. He actually got him abs, and then PJ. I feel like PJ is always going to be in the picture. Whether like or not, because I mean, he's really got like. I don't know. I don't know if you want to call it like the popularity or the following or like the money or the soft porn models or whatever, but Genova's always going to get soft it for porn like, models. <laughs> well, most of the most of the coaches who have come and gone, they, they usually just have an agenda to build up their own channel, their own subscriber base. So, I think Leonard's over here hallucinating. You're right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lenny's taking a, a time out. You just feel a little weird. You should look Leonard, like you feel a little Have some weird. more kratom. Uh, you scared like the. Okay, so here's what happened. Ever since, like, Big Lenny, like, raised like, cookie cutter and uh, corn. No, no, don't touch that. My friend was in Chicago. He wanted to give me a shirt, and then I think we were drinking that so probably. You gotta hold the speed yet. Yeah, I brought an extra large, and he's he's like an extra small. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect type for one. You yeah, right, 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 right. what the fuck did you just say? Your phone cut out. Fro Freudian slip. Freudian slip. <laughs> is that Michael? Like your little and everything. You just like whatever one, like a cookie cutter. Try it. It's exactly so bad. <laughs> Yeah. Leonard, you all right? Yeah, I just feel a little weird. He's trying to. T Leonard feels a little weird. He drank a whole thing of kratom, and he's a little. He's a little off. Got some secondhand smoke too. Pardon me. Are you still on all those medications ever since they just? I 
I'm only on the blood thinner. I stopped the Lasix when I went out of the hospital, and I stopped the beta blockers two weeks ago, and I'm feeling fine. The symptoms I was getting were real bad was I do a set of squats, and I was so fatigued, and it wasn't my lungs. Like, it really was my heart feeling horrible, but I haven't been getting that anymore. So eventually, I'm going to wean off the blood thinners, no matter what the doctor says. I'm going to taper down. I don't think it's... All the, on behalf of all the listeners, in the you know verse, we all care about you and you know we all want to see you freaking huge and whatever we don't want you to fucking die at the expense of it too you know thanks yeah but i i kind of think it was stimulant related but i'm obviously you know be vigilant and you know i think we have a lot of work to do as far as reaching the youth and you know, Mario's a tattoo artist. Yeah. If Leonard's thinking of getting a Christina Broccolini portrait tattoo. You think you could do that for him? <laughs> right on his ass. <laughs> do you do portraits? I'm actually still defending the school, so that's bullshit. I have to break a little hiatus from that, but I saw the nursing school back in, I believe it was like the fall, so I'm finishing up in the winter. It's kind of like an accelerated nursing school. I mean, if you ever have like any questions, you need to whatever, you know, shoot me a text or something, but, Thanks. you know, if he's feeling all nauseous, whatever, then like, I think this is a crater or a kratom, whatever, drink, like a, like a hardcore pre-workout thing, or... I don't know what the fuck it is. I think it's for the I think it's for the rehab kids to wean them off to fucking heroin and shit, right? It beats me. Who the fuck knows? If you're if you're the one going to nursing school, don't you know anything about that shit? I mean, the pre workout. I mean, I don't know those energy drinks. Like, if I one thing about them is that they started really hardcore up in like the caffeine. Like, I think I could have sworn I saw like a, a pre workout drink where it was a bunch of milligrams of caffeine. Like every serving, like there's like two servings in a can, you know? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, and it's like, Lenny, if you're doing that, and then, you know, yeah. everyone just assumes that you're on a bunch of other shit. Yeah. And you drop off all these meds, and like, you know, just probably take it easy and watch out for them. You really gotta be careful and like, like mindful. Yeah. Of like your body and whatnot, because at any moment, you know, cleaning up can just cause you to get lightheaded, and then you can fucking fall over. Yeah, I've actually felt like that before. It's pretty scary. Where I do a set at the gym, yeah, so stand up and shake. Like, you know, you have Brad or someone kind of like at least understanding of like, okay, you're on all this shit, you know, be mindful of like your actions because you're a big dude. If you, you know, you're 300 pounds, right? Yeah, Brad said he'd get somebody and then just throw him in the back of his dr <laughs> druggy buggy and take him to the ER. 911. I wish we could get you a, a caregiver who's a hasty or whatever. Yeah. Your phone your phone is fucking choppy, man. Are you are you walking around? Are you I know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to try to get some city over here in Chicago, but um What's yeah, what, um, God. Do you still not have a computer? All right, whatever happened to your apartment if I can ask? Cuz I don't really know the question. I would always feel like in the tunnel. Yeah, it just like, needs mopped. And it needs to be cleaned out. I'm going to have it done before Christina's birthday. <laughs> which coincides with the date of Andrew Kalora coming back, which is March 9th. And if I could ask you for a favor, if you could get on Team Christina Broccolini Facebook and wish her a happy birthday on behalf of Big Lenny, I'd appreciate it because I'm a computer. Oh, I'm not going to lie about this. Lenny, there's, there's a computer in the other room if you want. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind a week before so we can send her one. Thanks. He used to send her messages through Facebook. When I had a phone, yeah, it was easy to do. Christine Broccolini knows about you. Like, I was reading in the user comments, and there was, like, another thread that branched off of it. She supposedly knows about you. From where? And I guess, like, I read it, like, in a YouTube comment. Like, Lenny's shaking. That, like, he was related to, like, Broccolini or some shit. Construction. And basically, she knows all about you, and, like, she kind of sort of weirded out. Yeah, uh, I, could, uh, I could understand that legitimately, but I'm because on her show, if she'd enter a place that she thought was haunted, like this haunted castle legitimately in the UK, she came out crying. She's, I'm kind of creeped out. So I can understand what she does because if you ever look at that video, what's that girl's name? Bjork or something from the 90s yeah, where that big yeah. fat guy kills himself on camera. And oh, just, I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fucked up video. Yeah, <laughs> it's that's a, uh, really, that's a really fucked up video. She maybe thought when I was fatter that I, that's what I was, but yeah, I can understand where she's coming from. But you know, if you could let her know that 
He would always, he, Leonard would, would be her bodyguard. He'd always protect her. Let her know that she has total control over me <laughs> at all times. The, the only, only person, person on this planet. Huh? Yeah, because she's a goddess. Oh, my God. I'm but, dead serious. Okay, I, I seriously want to ask this. Andrew? Yeah. I mean, I know you're, I feel like Andrew is the one that kind of, like, sort of, like, sets everything up, like, you know? Is that a Freudian that slip? That's fair to say. Yeah, why? Would you ever consider setting up... Lenny with a, a trans back page. So many people have tried setting oh, up. Oh, when Louis, Mario, when Lucy was down here in Fort Lauderdale, I called Lucy myself. I spoke to her on the phone. And I asked her, I asked her two questions. Does she do in calls and out calls or only in calls? <laughs> she did only in calls when she was down here. And I asked her how much longer she was staying down here. She was leaving the next day. If she was going to be down here for another week, Absolutely, I would have set up Lenny with Lucy. How long, this, this is what, Lenny? Like two months ago, she was down here, right? Yeah. How, how, has she been down here since? I haven't seen her on back page anywhere. And I gave Lucy my number, and I said, if you're ever in South Florida again, please call me. My friend really wants to see you. She's fr- so, lives in, what did she say? She said, okay. I think nice. she's a Texan, but I think she takes time yeah. off, but she goes on tours like they all do, oh, make a killing. Oh, man. You know? So there you go. Mario. Oh my God. I mean, what people need to do is just oh sort of God, be- look at look at Backpage South Florida from time to time, and if anyone sees that she's back down here for a visit, let one of us know, please, and we'll uh, we'll get if Lenny taken of care of. Kiss maniacs can find a like a tan ten ten. <laughs> I would gladly donate a hundred bucks. There you go, Leonard. That's an easy fucking, that's an easy rim job right there. <laughs> <laughs> you say rim job? I'm all for it on film. You receiving or giving? I give and receive. Mm. I figure, what the hell, I'm 50. Right, I gotta ask, what's the freakiest shit you've ever done with a tranny? Anyone off back? Oh. Well, there's one on that actually advertises now. She's a year older than me. She's a Jamaican Brit. She's born in Britain. And she lives off Broward Boulevard. And I bring a fishnet painting. And she goes, come on in so i come in and her place is kind of strange looking as his parents place but she died and she took it over and she uh it's always smoking the same thing brad has and i put the pantyhose on her shut up you fucking rock no not not like the brad the weed brad does the rock you know mario don't act like you don't know mario so what i did was she takes me in a room and i lay down she dances because she got the big tits and fake ass licks me all over then she gets on me we do a 69 blow each other then actually we rim each other to where i lift i spread my legs and oh my god she rims me while i rim her it's like a double rim lenny you lost me when you said we blow each other i got that blow that, each other that's when i checked other. out of this conversation and she always she always <laughs> has you a, imagine walking in on that she oh has her fucking god female cousins come over and watch but you know, tits and ass, and she's actually on back page now in Fort Lauderdale. She was half. T- I tell you what, I tell but you, I put, we put our dicks together. I'll tell you now. what you could do. But she was half. Nice Take alarm. a look <laughs> out of here on back page Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> and look Momo. at the thing where it says transsexual. Switch onto that, and then go over to where it says the gallery Fort Lauderdale transsexuals. <laughs> she's the black girl wearing a pink dress. And it shows you in the. Right now, that all the viewers are now going to go try it. Yeah, check her out. I mean, she's older than me. She's kind of freaky looking, but. What's its she, name? She has various names April, Angel. Do you want to see her again? Uh, I don't know. She's kind of old now, and I think she's a little on the lean side, which to me means she may be on the, eight, in the uh, HIV positive side at this uh, point. Although I she, did. You think? She'd leave me over her house and she'd go over and get some weed. And I'd go through her shit. And she did have a negative test with her name on it. HIV negative, current status. A report from the health department. That was how many years ago? Well, I haven't seen her in seven years. But yeah, it's like the thing. And then she was an intermittent pisser where she would piss on my face. And then three minutes later, she'd piss again. A minute later, she'd piss again. So I call her the, and where were I call her the intermi- intermittent pissing. She's pissing's going all over the floor in her house. What great. the fuck? And the girls are watching, the audience. 
I love the audience because they came in by accident. The girl seemed shocked, and I said, "I like it. Get over here and watch." What's What's crazy? So every time is I was with her, she'd call them up. Of course, this was years ago, and it was the coolest thing was seeing the three girls sitting there. Their eyes would be like. Reminds you of being back in high school, jerking off under the stairs. <laughs> the worst, man. I mean, getting <laughs> blow. Getting. I actually heard that. Heard that little Yeah, under back behind the stairwell at the high school, the freak girls they call me. The same thing Brad said. Like, why did you just ever ask anyone to blow you? I was too caught up into what I was doing. It was fucking great. I don't know. I just maybe it was too cookie cutter, but I just like to see the looks. Their faces, like eyes, are wide open, like saucers are staring at me. Do this. And the funny thing was, every one of these girls, including the Jamaican girls. Mm. They didn't bat an eye the whole time. You, you didn't, uh, Their all, eyes would be these, wide all open. All these women that have seen them perform this shit, they... How can they ever get that out of their head? Get them on the podcast. Well, they seem to like get it. Get them on the podcast. The podcast. Yeah, I hear your experience right. watching Lenny get watching Lenny blow but, another. But fucking check her out. Tits. It's the one with a girl wearing a pink dress. Wonderful. Dark skin and there's trees in the background. What's great is he's not lying. He's not fucking lying, people. You are a sick Only motherfucker. In I did some trains in Pittsburgh. That's the first time I saw them, the street trains on Liberty Avenue. I've done them up there. When I came back to visit, I take my grandmother's car. She had a Geo Prism at the time. It was like a Toyota Corolla, Rob. And I couldn't believe how fast you would take to go down Pittsburgh. You take Allegheny River down, and there's an indentation, although I didn't know what it was with the time, where you could park your car alongside the road near the river. And they used to have a sign and spray paint. They used to call them fuck each, suck each other off, you know, right alongside the road. It was a famous game. But then you go down into Pittsburgh. I couldn't believe I was a kid. It seemed to take long when you went down with my father to go to a pirate game or something. But then when I was driving my grandmother's Geo Prism, I'd get down there in seconds. And, of course, the Pittsburgh police with their checkerboard hats pulled me over one night and said, the hell are you doing? I said, I'm looking for hookers. He says, okay, Mr. Florida, they look at my license because we don't play that shit up here. He goes, I'll th- lock your ass up. He goes, whose car is that? My grandmother's. Two more things and then I got to get off because this is, I want to bring this up to Andrew. Yeah. If you're listening. Remember that, who was the girl that was like the receptionist at um, the World Gym? Was it Jennifer? Yeah. Okay, so I guess it came out, or you probably know about this, but what was all of your guys' reaction when you found out that there was, like, fucking, like, she was doing, I think it was, like, posing or, like, nude, like, a bunch of nude stuff yeah, on the I, 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 website? Yeah, I know it. I'm familiar with it. We all saw. That's her own personal business. If we ever have yeah. her on the podcast and she wants to talk about it, we're all ears, but... Brad, did you jerk off to it? No. Okay. No. Andrew? No. <laughs> no. no. Did you ever jerk off by thinking about Tamika? I have. Not, I busted no, a few Tamika. nuts. And, and Tamika's on her. She's in, she's in some old Misfit videos. Yeah. Just gotta. And uh, do you think you want to be again on that, what was it, that podcast, Lenny? RX Muscle? What happened? Because, I mean, people actually got hurt. And I noticed that anytime you make an appearance on anything, it's always weird money. Weird money. <laughs> if you look at the views, like the average number of views a video gets, the ones where your face was used as a thumbnail receives much more than the ones that have no mention of you whatsoever. Yeah, why do you think Jason still used Lenny for his thumbnail when he doesn't even put it? He's not even in the fucking yeah. videos. <laughs> do you know what a thumbnail is? You know what he's talking about? A thumbnail. No, no it's for a, 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 digital, a digital thumbnail. He doesn't know what a thumbnail is, Mario. I know what it is. Okay. What is it? You don't. <laughs> Just say I don't. Just, you don't know. We'll show. I'll show you. Please yes. come to Chicago. I know Brad came up here a few times, and I know like whatever. But you have to come up here. I'm telling you, there's. We can take you to uh, the community bar. If you want to go to one, we can take you. Yeah. You have to. I'm serious. I, I will pay for you to get a lap dance. No, Len, want, Lenny needs to get a passport, and he needs to let me bring him down to Dominican Republic. That's what he needs. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to work on getting Lenny yeah. a passport, and we're going to get out of this I need, to, I need to take Lenny to Boca Chica, Dominican Republic. He'll never want to leave. And load it up to PornRx or one of those porn <laughs> sites. If I'm getting hits there, just imagine I get in the world of porno. I, think we're, I don't think we're ready for you yet, Lenny. <laughs> What's that, a Freudian slip? We. <laughs> I'm not going to shirt. Yeah, we're, we're, we're thinking about different yeah, designs. Yeah, that's a good one. All right there, Mario. We're going to let you go, man. All right, good talking to you, Mario. Thanks, man. I actually got to hit up the gym, but thank you so much for having me on. Thank you for 
Thank you, uh, Maniacs. Thank you, Christina. I'm out of here, so I'm starting to... Don't forget, Christina. All right, later, Peace man. out. You sound like Chuck the Cat Abandoner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to put on high heels and stomp cats. That freak. <laughs> you always got to bring that up. All right, man. Forgot to mention Christina. That's a great video with Matt, with, uh, where Jason's We're working trigger. out and he's furious yeah. in Mario. And I think he's wearing a red shirt in the video, if I remember correctly. It's one of one of the funnier videos. Have I've you done met with Mario in person? Or is it just he did. Bradded. Yeah, a couple. When I went up to Chicago, he came out and met me a couple times. He's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. he sounds cool. Yeah, he's all right, man. I like his ideas. He's hyper, hyper motherfucker, but <laughs> he's cool. Brought me some good weed the last time I was up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the matter? You gotta take another shit. I do. But was that you farting over there? You farted, didn't you? No. Bullshit, Leonard. I heard it. Why don't you just admit it? That's all it is, is gas. If you need the key to the clubhouse, let me know. That's, that's where Lenny and... I need a key to a whorehouse. <laughs> I was thinking about wearing a shirt, and I got the idea from Dr. David, Dr. Hughes, Tony Hughes. How about this? My picture. Sex monger. Because he was telling me that there's people come over there, and they're sex mongers. Yeah, that's what they call them. Sex monger. Yeah. If you travel to... If you travel to a place like Costa Rica or whatever to engage in sexual tourism, you're known as a monger. I don't know if you remember Gary Stratum. He was a famous sure. W. He's going to have to dinner with Tony Hughes because he set up a business. He makes clothing in Thailand, and they're going to have dinner in two weeks. So hopefully get an interview. Wow, who designed that? <laughs> Let me see the first one. That's not bad. Pretty cool. Yeah, right? I like that. It's, it's Lenny's face on uh, Incredible Hulk's body. And on the back, it says 700 pounds that's ripped. Yeah, style. that's good. I don't think I don't like them black, though. I think we should do like a navy blue. People are asking for black. They want a black? They want black. They're all fat fucks. That's why they're black. <laughs> yeah. Black, black hides everything. Oh, fucking wait a minute. That's this is um, that's Mike P's number, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, Get him on. He sent me a video. Of what? Just give me now. What's it called? Man attempts 725 pound world record bench press. When's it from? He doesn't look like he can lift 725. Is that Larry Wheels? Is he a Samoan, this kid? Watch it fucking decapitate him. <laughs> he does not look like he can lift 725 fucking pounds. Yeah, I agree. This, this might be real bad. How long is the There's video? There's no... I, 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 three minutes. I don't want to see any gore on a bench press. You never look like he touched a fucking weight. What the fuck, man? This looks like it's going to be bad. This almost looks staged. This guy's going to try to bench 100 more pounds than Kalora did? There's no way. He, dude. He looks natural, too. Oh, shit, he's fucking fat. Watch both his elbows fucking... Go ahead, watch. Don't worry. I'm just saying. I'm just making a guess. This isn't real. I don't. I don't think this is real. I'll see. Maybe they're fake plates. He can't even get it off the fucking thing. What are those spotters? Oh! <laughs> Spanked. So the weight came crashing down on his chest. He's gonna try it again. Yeah, I think he does get fucked up bad. But this this can't be real. I think he gets fucked. I up think bad. it. I think it is. Why would they let him try I think that he gets again? Fucked up bad on this, this has one. Gotta I, I think I've seen no, it. there's guys standing around. I think everywhere. Mike showed me this. Did he? What is he doing? Why would they let him? What are they saying? It sounds like they're saying beast. Beast. What the fuck? Why did he send you this? I have no idea. So he never did it. Big round of applause for what? He's as delusional as the other asshole. Look at this fucking guy. He doesn't look like... So he didn't even complete the lifts. No, he just for fucking th dropped it on his chest. <laughs> 2.6 million views of that shit. What? The, the name Orlando of the video. Sentinel. Man attempts 725 pound world record bench press. Orlando Sentinel. Sentinel. Sounds like That's a the newspaper. name of the YouTube channel. The Orlando Sentinel. Oh, the Full newspaper, set. yeah. Uh, I don't know, I guess. What a fuck. Don't waste your, actually, yeah. don't waste your time watching it. Doesn't look real. Mike Tits. No good. He thinks something better to fucking send us, will you please? Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna watch it. What's the matter, you right? You tingling or something? 
Oh, Jesus. We're going to have to wrap this up. Yeah. I'm going to get you home before you have a fucking... I don't want you dropping dead names in this house. I have some good chicken meatballs if you want to take them home. You want them? Definitely. Thanks. Jeff. Brad's nice enough to let me keep the Tupperware he gave me the Super Bowl leftovers in, so applaud him for that. Oh, nice. Why would you applaud me for that? Give us a fuck. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I still have it. I don't care. I don't need that shit. I got enough. Look at this guy. What's the difference? What does it cost? Fucking three dollars. Have you washed that Tupperware since the Super Bowl? Yeah, I don't want nothing coming yeah. from his fucking house. You sure? Yeah, but I was gonna tell Brad to put it in his dishwasher. Thanks for thank thank you for that. Thank you. Some about having an audience. Right garbage. When you do a perverted sex act of young women. Oh no! It's just oh god. No no eyes blink. I'm looking over the whole time. Eighteen and up, Lenny. 18 and up and she was strong enough to pull my legs back and stick her head down so i'm getting rimmed and she's getting rimmed uh, have you ever sh- have other. you ever shit on one of them yeah i shit with the haitian i shit with a, a bahamian hooker named vanessa <laughs> <laughs> she actually introduced I didn't say me shit to- with have you they let you shit on them yeah we shit on each other and where shit on our body then i sort of Roll, roll to rubber tits and her ass with it. Oh my she God. does the same with me. And where are you in the bed or in the shower? Tu- oh, in a in a shower. flat, not a bathtub, but a shower where you can rinse it all down the drain, scrub each other off. But it's like you get totally wet engulfed in the smell. But you don't get sick. You don't get nauseous. It pushes you to your limits. But there's something really kinky about it. I actually, fuck you. Gotta, it you, you gotta walk out of there so fucking disturbed. You are one disturbed man. And she used to say that the Haitian thing. She used to say, "I want to see it come out." So I had to bend over. We've heard. It so We've heard. Uh, 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 let's not rehash this. this. This makes me fucking sick. She Sorry. Goes, oh. And sometimes like, she did. She started doing this with her husband. Yeah. You know, of course, her husband left her. She'd shit in the toilet, and she told me a tell her story. And she told. <laughs> I'm living there. Don't flush the toilet because she has to show her husband. His name's Nestle. She had she wanted to show him when he came home. Like from work. Nestle, quick. Right. So she wanted to show him because it was like so long or big, and she wanted to save it for him to show him when he came home from work. So I'm glad I never kn- knew knew or know any of these kind. Of Try it though. Fucking it's great. People. So after he works all day, the first thing he wants to do, he doesn't want to sit down, crack open a beer. He wants to see his wife shit in a toilet. Crack open the toilet seat. Yeah. But the thing is, <laughs> fucking. She thing. caught him cheating on him and. Their rich custom is that another woman puts voodoo in his penis that comes from her pussy. Oh, and, boy. And she would refuse to have sex with him because the voodoo could get transferred from his penis into her pussy. And she voodoo died. meaning AIDS or H. That's a good question. That's probably what they mean. But They're fucking, it, it, you know. She says. He, some assholes actually goes, I don't believe fuck, in that shit. I did the, the first voodoo, time I fucked her. Voodoo curse. Yeah, she's like. Fuck you. Voodoo Leonard, curses can goes, transfer from dick to pussy. Leonard, come into my room. I, I said, okay. Weak. She says. I, I need some. I said, you need what? She says, I need some dick. I said, why? What about your husband? I can't fuck him no more. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. <laughs> she said, but I need some dick. I said, okay. So we laid down. She laid next to me, started kissing me. I went on from there. We did the sideways fuck. It was great, but we did, then we did the sideways fuck in the shower, covering each other's shit, and it was even better. I just don't know how you can do that without dry heaving and throwing up. I'm going to try it. You, 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 you're close to it, but Lucy, I do it with her. You do what with her? Anything she wanted. I think we should implement a new rule. No more shit talk in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but all I can say is try it and see how you like it. No. Try and no. see how you like it. It's just a weird, strange feel. It gets you off when things get that old humdrum, boring stuff. That is on the bottom of my list of things I want to try but in life. But we don't, obviously on a regular basis, what I would do is lift the toilet seat up. I would sit on it and she would sit on my lap, which is I was talking about with doing it with so-and-so. Uh-huh. And she faces me and she shits between my legs and I we shit at the same time and we French kiss. <laughs> try that <laughs> on. French kiss. Try again. that on for yeah. size to get started. Can't wait. And she, she put her arms around me. I, I don't need to see you stick oh, your tongue out and fucking jerk off. French kiss. Uh, yeah. Then she'd say, you finished? You finished? You finished? <laughs> then after that, oh, no. I'd sit there. Her and her mother would cook a huge breakfast for me. Huge. And the kids, the, the Haitian living across, you know, they'd be milling around or whatever. She babysit some. They'd comb my hair while I ate. 
and I had the Ronald Reagan haircut where you part it over to the side. That's what I used to call it. And these little girls, oh fresh off from Haiti, would Do you have any pictures? comb my hair over. And I told the story about one of them actually made my breakfast himself, a seven-year-old, because that's what they do over there. It was the cutest thing. She had a little dress on, little braids in her hair. She cracked the eggs, put them in a pan, and she's on her tiptoes with the spatula making my scrambled eggs. And burning the house the down. Cutest the cutest thing I ever time. saw. And she gave it to me. Nice big kiss. Whatever. It was great. Very it's cute. Lovely. Very cute. I like the part of that culture. Yeah. You ain't going to see any Americans do that. Oh, you like living in filth. So it wasn't filth. Fucking fit right in. It's great. Yeah. I'm just talking about now. Yeah, I know. If they had the Haitians there, that place would be would, would spick, and span, yeah. spick and span. Spick and span. You're not going to see any Americans getting voodoo curses put on their cocks either. Exactly. <laughs> that nonsense. Well, unless I got one by that woman. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what your curse was. <laughs> what was my curse? <laughs> Didn't they say what your curse was? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jason coming into your life? Yeah. <laughs> How about a happy birthday for so-and-so? Who? Next week. Christina Contalini. Who? No. <laughs> hey, Brad, no creeping out, Christina. We got to work. We need some PR to get that Christina to where she's receptive. Mm -hmm. I can understand she's a little shy, maybe a little skittish, but there were no need for her to be creeped out. You have talked an awful we lot need, about We need her. some PR. We need to repair this image. <laughs> I think it might be irreparable at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I can we, understand that. We have some t-shirts we need to send out. Yeah, we got some Brad and I, we've, we've been sitting on six orders now for a very long time just that we need to, to send out. to t-shirt shop today to pick them up because yeah. they forgot to make them. Yeah, we, the we, order got fucked up the last time, so I apologize to whoever gets their shirts late. Yeah. But we're going to have them restocked. We got a bunch of large and extra large uh, mopped and cookie cutter shirts we're going to put on the site. Yeah. And then we're, gonna, we're working on a new one. 700 pounds ripped. It's a good shirt. I yeah, like it. It looks cool. And I had an idea too. get a, like a chicken, you know, with a chick, a little cute little yellow chick with a dick and say, I love, and they show the chick. But who's going to wear that? Exactly. It might be exactly. a cool design, but who's going to fucking wear it? That has enough balls to wear it and tell everyone else, fuck yourself. That's who. <laughs> <laughs> we can come up with 50 great designs. Just because but... you'll, you'll wear it doesn't mean yeah. they'll wear it. Ew, you nasty fuck. I hope you shit yourself. Listen to this guy, because he wants to do the... You're going to go take a dump at the at the clubhouse? I'm going to oh, lift up the toilet seat, and you're going to sit on my lap and face me. Oh, let me film French that. Kiss. Please let me film that. And you're going to take a dump Bra between would my you, legs. You, but get, Brad's going to straddle you while yeah. you're shitting. <laughs> he wants us to both <laughs> take a shit at the same time while we're uh, dicks me, together. I'll go do get you, the camera. And if I said I would do it, would you let me do that? Why not? What the hell? Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> You are a sick mother. I never seen you look so happy in your entire you are life, a sick Brad. Sick motherfucker. Uh, who's the sick because one? Because you're here? because you're serious. You're not. You're loving joking. this. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna do life. That's because we, I'm high. We, I laugh at anything when we, I'm high. We can give Brad a, like a dreadlock or, or Venus Williams braids wig to wear while he does it. <laughs> Leonard has a few of those wigs. <laughs> yeah. Like the, really the, turn you the on. Rob Lynn Bailey wig you wore. Remember that? Whatever happened to that douchebag? Gives a fuck. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who follows their, their idiots anyway? Next, I'm going to get Fucking Dale Chance to do the same thing with me. He's going to shit on my lap and ship it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he might actually do it. No, but I recommend anybody with your whore or your wife to do the same. Give it a try and... Let us know how it works. Shit together? Yeah. Okay. It's a good way to open up the, the family that shits together stays together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, want to know. Great. I don't like it. I don't want to know yeah. about girls shitting, farting, none of that shit, man. That's a deal breaker for me. I'll I never forget. That's fucking this disgusting. This Italian girl in the 80s. Oh. Gorgeous. It went to my high school. And when they first started wearing the stretch pants, she had leopard stretch pants. And she was known to do this. And she was, she was built, and she was stacked, and she was gorgeous. She was known to, to do this. Yeah, I heard rumors she was doing it. And, to do what? Well, she, if she had to fart, she'd go up to guys, grab their hair, and she'd fart right in their face. So let me guess, you followed her around. No, she did it to me once. Waiting, waiting for her to do it. I fucking loved it. Was she shocked that you loved it? I didn't want to let go, yeah. <laughs> Just masking tape your face to her ass. 
That's a good idea. I told that. <laughs> I told that the girl when she wanted to know what I wanted for my birthday about eight years ago that to take a belt and belt my face to her ass for the day. What if she had to go run errands or a chore? Like if she had to go to Walgreens, well, she wasn't just... going anywhere. No, I don't have mine. Is what even happens when you have to fart while you're stuck. You're a, you're a fecal freak, aren't you? Depends. Uh, huh? But for Lucy, I will be. <sighs> Lucy will be right, back here. She always goes right in the fucking gutter yeah. at some point. You want to go pack up some shirts? Yeah, we got to do right. that. War is our peace. Thank you for the shirts. Yeah, man. All right. All right, we're out. Good night, fucks. Good night, Christina, and never forget, you're in total control of me, and if I creeped you out, I apologize. I hope you have, but I'm I hope you have to meet fucking you. nightmares of Leonard for the rest no, of your life. I'm hoping to meet you one glorious day, and hopefully, like, I've been known to see into the future, and... Oh, really? You've been known to see into the future? On 9-11, I got two phone calls. Bullshit. You were right. Bullshit. You were right. Bullshit. You got yes. two phone calls from who? I'm calling People bullshit. in Pennsylvania. You were right. And you then, said that that was going to happen. I got woken up. Yeah, not specifically, okay. but something in you know a general term, but pretty much close to it. Well, just like we know there's going to be more mass shootings. You know who he sounds like? Fucking Code Kojak at the gym. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this he, is the, that's right. There's a guy at the LA Fitness in Boca. We call him Kojak because he always works out with a lollipop in his mouth. Uh. He insists, you know, all those, those 9-11 hijackers were staying down here in Delray and Boynton. And... At the old, old world gym where we met, a few of the hijackers actually used to work out there. Well, they lived in the hamlet. Correct. Yeah. And this guy, Kojak, who we still see during the week, he insists. He told me and Brad that he overheard the 9-11 hijack because he's Israeli, so he understands Arabic, Kojak. He overheard a couple of the 9-11 hijackers speaking to each other in Arabic about 9-11. So Kojak told us he actually called the FBI, yeah, he reported, it. reported it, said, you guys need to be aware. I overheard a possible terrorist attack being planned. And they told me he's, he's crazy. And then it happened. The FBI apparently could have stopped this kid, too. But what are you going to do? You got to do what Australia did, outlaw There's all the no fucking guns. There's no more J. Edgar Hoover's they had, one, they had one mass shooting. They outlawed all the guns, and now they haven't had any. So what are you going to do? No more J. Edgar Hoover's. What are you going to do? More guns than people in this country. Good. Plus all the, you know, all the wackos and the prescription pills. Yeah. Pharmaceutical companies. Cat abandoners. That's right. And as long as the NRA and the pharmaceutical companies pad the pockets of the politicians, nothing's ever going to fucking change. So what are you against? It's all about the money. You want Follow gun control. Follow the money and you'll see where the You want gun is. control. There's got to be some. No amount there. of gun control will help. Guess what? Gun, guess what's going to happen when there's gun control? Rum, they're going to have guns exactly. and come in and invade wherever you're living to rape, kill, and steal. Okay, that's exactly what they're going to do. The damn right they're not. Just said so the only way you those primitive types, those Black Panthers. Have you ever owned a gun? Yes, cap gun. Okay. And I got two guns right have here. Ever, have you ever been in a situation <laughs> where you needed a gun? I've used a gun in my military training. Okay. Whatever. It is what it is. I have ammunition under my sink. For what? Ammunition, but no gun. Right. Only my, ammunition. My what neighbor kind? up the road that, what kind of ammo? that works on my bike. What caliber? I don't know, but enough. Oh, no. He took it from Jay's house. If house. you have any forty four, I'll take it. When he, well, old, my neighbor though. said if there's any th problems, the gun government tries to steal, take our guns. He says, he's coming and get me, and he's going to arm me. So I said, yeah, whenever the final war appears. With gun control, there's no stopping them. They're going to come out in packs. How many of them have caused the mass shootings? Who? How, They've how, done so many mass shootings, it's not even funny. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> mass shoot. That's all the fuck they do. Probably in the hood, so you don't hear yeah, about well, it. Yeah, well, because nobody cares about it. <laughs> it happens at an affluent, mostly white school. You're going to hear about it. It happens in a hood every single day. Yes. Whoop yeah, but there's not 17 people moving no. down. In, in a school. 59 people. Yeah. I mean, oh, come on. The crazy white man. It's the white, white, white devils. One of those white teachers had a firearm on him that could have definitely reduced the number of deaths. If three of those teachers, if five of those teachers, the more of them that had a concealed weapon on their person, well, guess which what? you can wear and pulled it out, well, there would have been much what? less. Yeah. Well, guess what? This is Florida is the state that has the most concealed carry licenses in the country but they're not and what good did it fucking do because that's then? a gun-free zone correct yeah
Well, exactly. A gun where I work is a gun-free zone. I'm mass, a sitting duck. Mass shooting. I'll go in the freezer. And where that's I work. where they're going to go to commit those crimes. Right. Exactly. Gun-free zone and fire alarms cause more harm than good. Mm-hmm. This little fucker knows as soon as he pulled something out, his fucking brains are blown all over fucking the gym floor. That would have been a fitting end. And then what, what's their solution going to be to turn schools into fucking prisons? Well, don't most schools in the hood have metal detectors? Yes, and most sure. schools up north, you have one entrance with metal detectors and one exit that you can't enter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was an open school building in Florida. Everything's open like Olympic Heights. You're all alma mater there, Mr. Postal Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Olympic Heights where the ruby is every year. That's right. Yeah, they're going to make the ruby a gun-free show? No. <laughs> that Dale Chance was walking those halls. Believe me, that guy's brains would have been splattered, and Dale would have been hero of the hero of the world for a day. Your stomach is rumbling, isn't it? It's all fucked up. All right, let's get out of here. Right. I got I gotta go in at six thirty tomorrow. Do you? Shit. They're finally being a little proactive instead of reactive. The rest of the fucking government. All right, clowns. Goodbye. Well, like your coworkers, get a good breakfast of Mountain Dew and Cheetos. See, whatever I tell him, he's gonna uh-huh. fucking air it out. I know. So now I gotta be. Careful. I'm gonna walk really over to that place tell. too. Come on over. They'd love to see you. Good night. The clerks would like to meet you. They're sending out all your fucking shirts all the time. Yeah, I'm going to send them a shirt. Some of your workers aren't going to like. I'm going to come over with a debut shirt. All right. Good night. Good night.